Chapter 2761 The terrifying Ziyan The elusive music Immortal Palace's experts had come aggressively, but with a single move from Ziyan, all their heads exploded and their corpses fell lifelessly. As a result, everyone's jaws dropped. Even the various emperors were astonished. How had Ziyan suddenly changed sides right before the battle? At this moment, Ziyan spread her hands, and the slain experts Yuan spirits were all extracted condensing into her fingertips. What is right? What is wrong? In the East, someone told me the real answer. However, at that time, I was ignorant and didn't understand. Now I understand. To protect those that I love, even if my hands become covered in blood, even if I fall into a bottomless hell afterward, I will not regret it. Zi Yan's hands shone brightly. Looking at that light, she muttered to herself and her killing intent caused the world to change color. A-H-H sharp screams suddenly rang out from Zi Yan's fingertips, including the music masters. At this moment, their Yuan spirits had been condensed on Zi Yan's fingertips. They were terrified and unreconciled, but they all knew what was about to happen. Ignoring their screams, Zi Yan looked into the distance. At Long Chen, she finally smiled faintly. After that, her white robes exploded and strips of fabric flew through the air like butterflies. A violet dress then appeared beneath the white robes. In that instant, Zi Yan appeared incredibly like Sovereign Han Wei. Her decisive killing intent shook the heavens. Long Chen, because of me, you repeatedly fell into death traps, but you still believed in me. I have no way to repay this favor in this lifetime. All I can do is use this life of mine to thank you. A hint of warmth glimmered within the killing intent in Zi Yan's eyes. After that, Zi Yan's fingers pressed against the southern sea zither. She plucked a single string, and with that one note, every life form of the martial heaven continent felt their heart contract. It was as if that sound caused their blood to fill their heart, resulting in it growing until it was about to explode. The sound of a zither then rang out. Suddenly, the invading experts felt as if a volcano had exploded in their chests. They were shocked to find that their hearts had burst inside of them. The heavens have a humane heart. The earth has a compassionate heart. When a human has a heart with love, their hearts are complicated. There is the infatuated heart, the greedy heart, the fanatical heart. Endless possibilities confuse right and wrong. Mix good and evil, Zi Yan murmured. It was like a scripture but wasn't like a song but not exactly that. It directly pierced people's hearts and reached people's souls, forming a resonance. Her voice questioned them about their own hearts. As a result, the martial heaven continent's experts' hearts trembled. It was as if all their secrets were exposed at this instance. Zi Yan's hands continued to play, and screams rang out from the other world's experts. Whether it was the demonic beast race, the blood race, the devil race, or the undying race, their experts' hearts exploded out of their chests. Although they had the ability to recover, without a heart, their combat power was gravely affected. The most terrifying thing was that they had no idea what was happening. Zi Yan was injuring them through space, and they couldn't dodge and defend. This kind of invisible attack was the most frightening. The blood of the guilty, black, murderous, vicious, and brutal. The soul of evil, containing greed, jealousy, hatred and destruction. The Tao of the Heavens music can be used to destroy evil, eradicate demons, incinerate the blood and soul, play the song of slaughter, become a devil slaughterer, sink forever into the depths of hell, die a hundred deaths with no regrets. Zi Yan's voice rang out as if she was a goddess. Her voice was ice cold, containing a frightening resolution. As the zither strings quivered, the void rumbled. The invading experts whose hearts had exploded suddenly clenched their heads, roaring with pain. Some of them could not endure, and their heads directly exploded. For a moment, the experts on both sides could only stare in shock. As Zi Yan continued to play, more and more invaders were killed, their heads exploding. Hence, in just a few breaths' time, tens of millions of invaders were wiped out by Zi Yan's zither music. Their armies collapsed. This kind of terrifying sound attack had never been seen or heard of before. This devil soul refining song destroyed hearts and exterminated souls. It was a bizarre power that couldn't be blocked. With every note, hundreds of thousands of experts died. Her music filled the world. 
She's using zither music to invade people's hearts, using their blood to reach their minds, using their minds to detonate their souls. The blood races emperor's expression changed. The martial heaven continent had never used such a divine art against them before. At this moment, the world was enveloped by a strange atmosphere. Blood chi sword and souls wailed. It was like hell on earth. Not good. The blood chi and soul energy can no longer be absorbed. Kill her. The devil races emperor suddenly noticed something wrong. The others also noticed this problem. The only reason that they weren't fighting themselves was because they wanted the blood chi and soul energy of those dying on the battlefield. This energy was what powered their altars and the heaven devastating bracelet. Other than the undying race, the others hadn't finished their preparations. However, since the undying race had launched the attack ahead of time, they couldn't just watch as their goal was snatched away. Hence, they launched their own attacks, and the power that they had been accumulating for tens of thousands of years in the form of countless experts charged out. When they died, their lives were taken back as preparation for the killing blow. However, they were shocked to find that when Zi Yan killed people, their energy simply dissipated, and their altars were unable to absorb it. Not even the heaven devastating bracelet could absorb it. As Zi Yan continued to play, blood rained down, and in less than 10 breaths time, millions and millions were killed. This kind of terrifying, wide range attack was something that overturned people's imaginations. Most frightening of all, while it had a terrifying killing power on the invaders, it didn't affect the Martial Heaven Continent's experts all that much Novaloon.com by the time the various emperors reacted. They had lost a fourth of their armies to Zi Yan's life reaping zither music. Her killing power was simply astonishing. Because of this, the emperors were no longer able to sit still. If they still didn't stop Zi Yan, their plans would fail. Chapter 2762 The High Priest Takes Action The Blood Races Emperor finally made his move and the world rumbled as blood-colored clouds covered the sky. At this moment, a single palm that was covered in strange runes crashed down from the heavens. When an emperor moved, the aura of an emperor unfurled, and it might even be a bit stronger than Yi Ming when he had just condensed the sovereign crown. Boom! Just as the blood races emperor moved, a sword slashed down from the heavens and shattered the overwhelming emperor pressure. Who? demanded the blood races emperor. At this moment, the void twisted. The high priest appeared with a sword on his back and a wine gourd on his waist. The current high priest was cloaked in a heavy air that was completely different from before. He appeared confident and refined, filled with the air of an immortal. Just a drunkard, said the high priest. Standing in front of the blood races emperor, the blood races emperor looked at the high priest and then sneered. So it's the wine god's doctrine. In the past dark eras, your people always cowered like tortoises, but now you dare to interfere in this one-sided battle? Did you drink too much? It seemed that he had some understanding of the wine god palace's inheritance, and yet he still found them insignificant. You really are right. I drank too much, or I really wouldn't dare interfere in this matter. The high priest laughed. Old drunkard, since you've chosen death, I will finish you. The blood races emperor took out a strange blood-colored spear and charged toward the high priest. However, the high priest didn't reach back for his sword. Instead, he grabbed the wine gourd on his waist. After opening the lid, he tipped his head back and gulped down a mouthful. Die! The blood races emperor shouted furiously. His spear pierced through the air, but the high priest's figure vanished. His attack missed. After that, the high priest reappeared high in the sky continuing to drink. After several mouthfuls, his face began to flush and his eyes grew unfocused. He was clearly drunk. The high priest then slowly placed the wine gourd back on his waist. He wiped his mouth with his sleeve, and the smell of wine filled heaven and earth when he exhaled. Just that single exhale filled the world, making the heavenly deus grow sluggish. Wine contains the great universe. The pot contains the passing of time. All things are in motion freely changing. Clear wine is tasteless like water. Turbid wine is dense like soup. Primal chaos devolves into clearness and turbidness, and a hundred flavors brew within the sky. Wine allows one to escape the pathless chase of fame and fortune. To become intoxicated is to dream of ten thousand deos. To wake is to see the world. 
The high priest's body began to softly sway. He looked up at the sky, softly murmuring. These words were carved onto the screen in front of the wine god statue. When Long Chen first saw it, he began to admire the wine god's free and unrestrained manner. Now that they came out of the high priest's mouth, he appeared to have returned to his youth. The confidence and ease of youth were vivid within him. Looking at this sight, the blood races emperor grew even more enraged. The high priest didn't seem to even see him. Hence, the blood races emperor's spear buzzed, but he didn't attack the high priest. Zi Yan was his target instead. When the high priest drank his wine, a strange power of his caused the blood races emperor's blood soul lock art to lose effect. That was why the high priest had escaped his attack so easily. Not wanting to waste time, he chose to directly attack Zi Yan. As expected, as soon as he moved, the high priest appeared in front of him. Seeing this, the blood races emperor sneered and light erupted from his spear. The high priest's sword then came out of its sheath and slashed into the spear. But the high priest's hand quivered and his body trembled. He looked completely drunk, as if he might collapse at any moment. However, as he swayed, the world swayed with him, spreading strange ripples. At this moment, the blood races emperor's expression changed. The overwhelming power of his spear was being rapidly thrown off. As the high priest's sword quivered, his power dissipated. Only now did he realize that the high priest's swaying was a kind of extremely brilliant movement art capable of throwing off his power. Suddenly, the high priest staggered like he was falling. His sword swung to the side and made the blood races emperor hastily retreat. Although the latter dodged quickly, his cheek was still sliced so deep that his bone was exposed. As a result, fresh blood began to flow. The blood races emperor was startled that he was actually injured. His physical body had reached a kind of limit and was capable of even receiving divine items. However, the high priest's sword was clearly normal metal, yet it was capable of blocking his spear. Most startling of all, just now, he had clearly dodged that sword, but an invisible chi came from the sword, slicing his cheek. A burning pain then remained on the wound like someone was pouring strong wine on it. Even his own self-recovery ability was inhibited. He was aware of the wine god's inheritance in this world, but he was unaware that the wine god's disciples had such powerful abilities. What kind of power is this? demanded the blood races emperor to the swaying high priest. The high priest shivered as if he had been spooked. He shook his head and squinted at the blood races emperor. Who are you? Why are you shouting die? This response fully infuriated the blood races emperor. He thought that the high priest was intentionally angering him. His blood chi then erupted and he stabbed his spear forward. After that, a rain of spears flew out of the blood clouds in the sky, all of them whistling toward the high priest. This was an attack covering a giant area, and even Zi Yan was within its range. When an emperor was infuriated, it caused heaven and earth to change color. Boom. However, the high priest merely slashed his sword, and its divine light erupted, shattering all the spears. The high priest then let out a long sigh, once more filling the air with the smell of wine. The blood-colored runes were like snow meeting the sun when they met that wine chi. They instantly melted. After that, the high priest seemed to recover his wits a bit. Looking at his wine gourd, he shook his head. The wine god's personally made wine is truly strong. I almost got muddle-headed. Suddenly, the high priest stamped down on the air, charging at the blood races emperor. However, just at that moment, he tripped and fell. What the martial heaven continents experts could only stare. Dumbfounded. Chapter 2763 Major World Golden Coin When the solemn high priest drank the wine in the gourd, his entire aura changed. He was like a deranged drunkard. However, after falling, the confident and suave impression of him shattered in an instant, vanishing without a trace. Everyone watching almost staggered themselves. The high priest's spiritual fluctuations have changed. Long Chen looked over. He suddenly had a thought. At this moment, the blood races emperor stabbed his spear at the high priest's back when he fell. However, without even turning back, the high priest swung his sword, blocking the spear. He suddenly turned, like a wild gale. His sword unleashed waves of divine light, and he attacked 19 times in a row. As the sound of metal clashing rang out, the blood races emperor was forced back over and over. With every attack, 
mist that contained a dense wine chi exploded out of the high priest's body, and anyone who inhaled it felt dizzy. They felt like they had become drunk. Boom. Finally, the blood races emperor was sent flying. The high priest's attacks had grown stronger and stronger until he was completely suppressing his opponent. So it's a god's inheritance. HMPH. It's just a gourd of wine. Once it's used up, your life is forfeit. The blood races emperor finally saw through the clues. The power that the high priest was currently unleashing was the power of a divine Tao. It was no wonder he was able to fight an emperor with only the cultivation base of a saint. The high priest's eyes were hazy. He said, this wine has over a hundred thousand years of history. It might not be enough against someone else, but against you, it's enough. The high priest suddenly shot forward. Despite clearly still being in a drunken state, his movements were much steadier now. This wine could be considered a condensation of faith energy, as well as a present from the wine god. This faith energy formed a bridge to the wine god, and it was the only energy that wasn't rejected by the wall of ascension. Hence, it could be said that the high priest's wine gourd contained the wine god's personally made wine, which was passed down through faith energy. They only obtained a single drop every hundred years, so the high priests of the wine god palace would usually use it to research the divine Tao. They never wasted it by drinking it. Today, in order to fight this emperor, the high priest had drunk three small mouthfuls. However, he had underestimated its power and had almost lost consciousness. Through the battle, some of its power leaked, and it finally reached a level that he could endure. The power of this wine was the power of a divine Tao. While it was different from a sovereign's power, it was a power that could contend with it. However, an external power was just that. He would need to slowly get used to it. As the power of the wine surged through the high priest's body, his sword danced, forcing back the blood races emperor. With the blood races emperor blocked, the other emperors no longer sat still. If they allowed Zi Yan to continue her attacks, all their people would be killed, and their plans would be ruined. If they couldn't activate the heaven-devastating bracelet, they would be unable to obtain the core of the star field. Then this entire battle would be meaningless. Because of it, the devil races emperor and the Kunpeng emperor both attacked. A devil claw and a giant wing swung toward Zi Yan. Both of them were using their killing blows. In their eyes, the most threatening existence wasn't Long Chen. It was Zi Yan. But then, the void exploded and a giant palace appeared, blocking the Kunpeng Emperor. Snow began to fly through the air. A chilling cold covered the entire battlefield. It's the Divine Ice Palace. The name of the Divine Ice Palace was known to all. However, no one knew that the actual palace in and of itself was actually a combat divine item. It had an extremely mysterious origin, and legend had it that it was not from this world. What thing is this? Scram. The Kunpeng Emperor shouted, and its giant body smashed into the Divine Ice Palace. It was clearly extremely confident in its physical body. However, a ray of divine light suddenly shot out of the Divine Ice Palace. When it struck the Kunpeng Emperor, his body rapidly shrank and was sucked inside the palace. Divine Ice Seal. Daoist Heavenly Feathers figure appeared above the Divine Ice Palace. She then formed hand seals, and giant ice dragons appeared. Wrapping around the Divine Ice Palace, rumbling rang out from the inside of the Divine Ice Palace. The Kunpeng Emperor was clearly fighting against the seal. Meanwhile, Daoist Heavenly Feather sat in the air, continuing to form hand seals. She then murmured some kind of scripture, causing endless ice chi to gather. The entire battlefield became a world of ice. Despicable human race, if you have gods, let me out and we'll have a real fight. The Kunpeng Emperor bellowed from within the Divine Ice Palace. He was clearly unable to charge out, at least temporarily. Daoist Heavenly Feather ignored him. The Ice Dragons were starting to fracture as the Kunpeng Emperor fought, and she had to constantly strengthen them. Clearly, she was only capable of trapping the Kunpeng Emperor for a while. It was impossible for her to slay the latter. At the same time, a golden light descended from the heavens smashing into the devil races emperor's claw. As a result, the devil races emperor was knocked back. A glimmer of light appeared in his eyes. In front of him, the void split open, and a giant coin came out. However, 
This coin was not made of copper but immortal metal instead. Its light filled the world. The golden light shone brightly, causing countless life forms to instantly become greedy. Their eyes became red in an instant, and they wanted to charge over and grab it. This gold coin drew out people's most primitive desires. Grand World Golden Coin The Devil Race's Emperor's expression changed. He suddenly shouted, Is the wealth god also planning on jumping into this pool of dirty water? Sir's words are lacking. This is no dirty water. To do business is to seek profit. All the martial heaven continent's life forms are what we depend on for our livelihood. The wealth god has millions and millions of believers on the martial heaven continent, and they have their families and dependents here. Since our clients and devoted followers are threatened, the wealth god has instructed that we must stand up for them. So, we fight to protect ourselves. Maruayan appeared. Behind him was the Huayan sect's divine item, the major world golden coin. This was also a divine item, part of a divine Tao. When the high priest had previously asked Maruayan if they were bringing out their money, he had been referring to this divine item. The appearance of the major world golden coin signified that the wealth god's followers were also joining this battle. Your devil race is incapable of fighting against this. I'd advise that you realize the problem and retreat while you can. Chapter 2764 Money Blinds the Eye You think you've beaten us? What a joke. A bunch of second-rate peddlers also dare to say such big words? Do you know that your actions have implicated the wealth god? When the great devil god hears of this, he will definitely slaughter all the wealth god's followers, sneered the devil race's emperor. Maruayan smiled indifferently. Our actions today are due to the directives of the wealth god. Everything else isn't for us to worry about. When doing business, the subordinates must listen to the superiors, or the efficiency plummets, lowering the profits. Fuck your fucking profits. Don't talk about this nonsense with me. The most profitable thing in this world is battle. Your wealth god is a fool. Since you want to die so badly, I'll kill you all. The devil races emperor raised his hand and a jagged sword swirling with devil chi appeared in his hand. I'll show you just how terrifying the devil race is. His devil sword swung through the air, causing black lightning to appear in the sky. It was like the end of the world had suddenly come. I'm well aware of the devil race's power. Today, I'll show you the power of money. The major world golden coin behind Maru Ayan transformed into a streak of light, striking the devil race's emperor. Golden light erupted when the coin struck the devil sword. The entire sky turned gold. That golden light seemed to be composed of palm-sized coins that were covered in runes. The color of gold was something few people disliked. It symbolized wealth, profit, and everything materialistic in this world. In other words, it was something that could be used to satisfy all material desires. Countless people protected at the core of the continent instantly became overwhelmed. Seeing those billions of coins in the sky, their eyes reddened. Their most primal desires were brought out. Some people began walking over, due to the barrier allowing them to see things clearly. It felt like there were coins right above their heads. Hence, people involuntarily reached out. Don't mess around. A shout rang out. It was the Grand Xia's Emperor, Xia Yunfeng. At this moment, Xia Yunkong and the other experts of the ancient nations began to keep order Novaloon.com There were too many commoners here, without powerful cultivation bases. If there was any chaos, they could easily be trampled and crushed. They're throwing their lives away for money. Amongst the experts of the Grand Xia, a beautiful woman sighed. Xia Yunfeng shook his head. Every person sees things from unique perspectives. To a starving person. A single steamed bun is enough to make them commit a crime. After being full, a person wants to be warm and then have a home to sleep in. As you no longer worry about those things, your desires shift to higher levels. Commoners are like this, and aren't cultivators the same? Commoners want to simply have enough food to not starve, while cultivators want to get stronger so that they don't get killed by others. In this regard, everyone is the same. Gold might be looked down upon by us, but what about cultivation resources? Wouldn't we also be like this mob, forgetting about our own life and death for this desire? I misspoke. I shouldn't have mocked them. The person who had spoken was the Grand Zaya's princess, Shia Yulao. At this time, 
Her youthful air had completely regressed. She had become much steadier. Back then, Shia Yaluo had still had a childish nature and had been an unreasonable princess. But after experiencing the dark side of people's hearts, as well as her own suicide, it was as if she had matured overnight. But at the same time, she grew much quieter. This transformation pained Shia Yunfeng, Shia Yunkong, and the others. They would rather Shia Yaluo still be that willful child if that meant she could live happily and worry-free. However, they all knew that there was no way to return to the past. Unless, Shia Yunfen couldn't help looking at the distant Long Chen and then at his little sister. He sighed silently. Boom. After the golden light exploded, endless golden coins formed chains binding the devil race's emperor. Even as he slashed his sword, shattering one chain after another. The chains simply reformed limitlessly. You've been surrounded by money. Your fate is set in stone. Struggling is futile, said Maruayan. As the major world golden coin behind him quivered, more and more golden coins filled the world, binding the devil race's emperor. Bullshit. The devil race's emperor roared furiously. Devil Chi then exploded from him and his sword, emitting black mist. The golden chains were shattered rapidly but reformed again. He almost escaped several times, but in the end, he was still trapped. Hence, he furiously roared. Maru Ayan lightly said, Money is a double-edged sword. Used properly, it can nourish all life. Used for evil, it can destroy the world. The wealth god has said that the most frightening thing in this world isn't a devil or ghost. Instead, it is a businessman with no beliefs. Without any beliefs, then any and all methods can be used to scheme for profit. After that, the entire world's resources will be extracted until there is nothing left. People's souls will be drained. Morality will be non-existent. In the end, they will end up using up their very self just for profit. In the end, nothing will remain. Shut up. The devil races emperor roared furiously, continuing to attempt charging out but failing. Maruayan continued, it is the root of all evil but also the foundation of all deos. If the heavens have no desire, no life will be born. If the earth has no desire, no spirits can grow. If a beast has no desire, the species becomes extinct. If a human has no desire, heaven and earth cannot merge. Yin and yang cannot mix. Shut your fucking mouth. The devil races emperor roared furiously. His face twisted. Maruayan's voice was like millions of mosquitoes entering his ear. However, in his current predicament, he was unable to use his full power. It was like he was caught in the mud. No matter how he cursed, Maruayan remained indifferent, and he even smiled. Do you know why the major world golden coin has this appearance fuck off? I don't want to know. Shut your mouth, roared the devil races emperor. Chapter 2765 The Power of Wealth Maruayan laughed. Doing business mostly relies on the mouth. If I shut my mouth, how can I do business? For my new client, let me introduce our business. From the services we provide to our marketing, everything is under our domain. I don't discriminate between young and old. So I feel like I should give you a detailed introduction to our major world golden coin. The devil races emperor was so infuriated that he burst into curses. Unexpectedly, his ability in cursing was not inferior to his cultivation base. He managed to curse Maruayan's entire family male and female, all the way back to 18 generations. Moreover, not one of his curses repeated itself. He stunned everyone. What people were unaware of was that Maru Ayan's seemingly nonchalant presentation was a kind of warfare against the heart. The golden light of the major world golden coin blinded the eyes. To the trapped emperor, Maru Ayan's voice was like a devil's curse. His cursing could be considered a kind of counterattack comforting him both physically and mentally. Hence, this cursing displayed his overwhelming talent in this regard, which stunned the martial heaven continent's experts. Even a grand emperor could curse like a shrew on the streets. This completely toppled their understanding of experts. Maruayan continued to give an explanation about the true essence of a businessman, and his expression remained unchanged the entire time. His voice was incredibly sincere. This major world golden coin was created by the wealth god. The outside is round, while the inside is square. It contains the essence of heaven and earth. The outer roundness is primal chaos, 
while the inner square is the four divisions of the night sky. It corroborates the heavenly deos. The outer circle is for material matters, while the inner square is for matters of the heart, corroborating the human Tao. The Tao of the heavens has voids to fill but nothing to fill them with. The human Tao doesn't have as many voids, and there's plenty of stuff to fill them with. When your hands are rich, you fill them more and more. When your hands are impoverished, they empty more and more. Maruayan's voice continued to ring out. At this time, the commoners protected at the core of the continent were drawn out of their chaotic frenzy. His voice entered their souls. They thought that he was speaking the words of truth. Whatever you already had, the heavens would give you more of. Whatever you lacked, the heavens would take away from you. Hence, these people who had thrown themselves into a frenzy for the golden coins in the air gradually regained their minds. They began to listen intently. As a result, the wealthy prosper, while the poor remain penniless. But the heavenly deos are in constant motion. The wheel turns, and nothing is set in stone. The major world golden coins round exterior is the attitude one must have when facing the world. A person must be round, slick, and smooth, not injuring others, allowing for easy communication. You'll gain more than others. Fuck, 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 shut up. The devil races emperor roared, but his voice was drowned out by the sound of coins tinkling against each other. That metallic ringing was extremely clear. It was a pleasing sound to everyone else, but it seemed to be a torture to the devil races emperor. Maruayan continued, as for the interior square, it indicates that there must be rules, laws, and limits. A bottom line, roundness must not lead to a blind submission. It cannot lead to constantly yielding or simply resigning yourself to struggles. When someone touches something in your heart, you must fight back. The square is the bottom line as a person. All things must have limits. This inner square is also where the faith of everyone in the Huaian sect resides. We will not be overbearing or servile to others. We will not be scared or panicked no matter what happens. We will remain unflustered even in the face of beckoning wealth. Because wealth is a double-edged sword. It is the milestone that encourages people but also the epitaph of countless people. That is because it can cause a person to inflate limitlessly. Without the square in the heart to control oneself. Desire grows and grows until it consumes the entire person. Making them do crazy things. Shut up. You. The devil races emperor suddenly coughed up a mouthful of black blood. His eyes turned red as if he had gone insane. All of a sudden. His expression changed, and he gave up on fighting. He let go of his devil sword as his body began to inflate. He then formed hand seals in a panic, seemingly trying to control himself. The devil Tao is the opposite. The outside is square, while the inside is round, strong in appearance, but weak in reality. It contains only fear, but not kindness. With such a heart, how can you resist the lure of wealth? I told you that you were already defeated. But you didn't believe it. Maruayan shook his head. The devil races emperor suddenly inflated like a balloon, causing everyone to jump. They thought that he was activating some powerful technique at first, but then they found that his expression was not very good. His body quivered. You slaughter other life forms and take their wealth, but you never create your own wealth. You only know how to kill and take. Now that the major world golden coin has appeared here, you can have as much wealth as you want. Take as much as you want. Limitless wealth can materialize your dreams. Wealth can create your own world. A world that you want. Wealth can allow you to stand above all others. Maru Ayan's voice was like a hypnotic spell but also like the voice of a devil in the ears of the devil races emperor. As time passed, the power of the major world golden coin grew. This divine item was a peculiar one. It drew out the deepest desire for wealth within a person's heart. The devil ray slaughtered and plundered, all for wealth, and it made them stronger. Being stronger allowed them to plunder more wealth. However, the major world golden coin's power terrified the emperor. It was causing him to inflate rapidly. At this moment, more rays of golden light flew out of the major world golden coin. Various illusions started to appear. There were mountains of gold, silver mines and even naked beautiful women of the devil race. What is that? Sect Master Ma has used a divine art on the devil race's emperor. He said so much in order to avoid affecting the ordinary people. 
allowing them to be mentally prepared before launching the real attack, said an elder. While it seemed that Maru Ayan had simply spouted a bunch of nonsense, it had actually been to save everyone, allowing them to get used to it. Otherwise, if he had launched an all-out attack from the start, perhaps all the commoners would have been consumed. Boom. The devil race's emperor's body once more expanded. Cracks appeared all over his body as if he was about to burst. Dot. Of course. Wealth can also easily destroy yourself, said Maru Ayan indifferently. The devil race's emperor was on the verge of exploding. On the other hand, the people who had been willing to risk their lives for the golden coins were no longer so infatuated. Everyone said that profit was a blade, but they had always ignored that saying. Today though, they were finally scared by that blade. Even an emperor was about to die to it. The devil race's emperor was covered in cracks, and his body had reached its limit. Some people covered their ears and ducked their heads to avoid seeing the explosion. Chapter 2766 Killing Move The Devil Race's Emperor was covered in cracks, looking to be on the verge of exploding. All manifestations are the devil. Suddenly, the army of the devil race roared in unison, and Devil Chi exploded out of every single one of them. As they chanted some kind of scripture, a rune lit up on their foreheads. After that, the cracks appearing around their emperor's body quickly healed. In just a few breaths time, the cracks vanished. Idiot. Your broken coin can't kill me, sneered the devil race's emperor. His devil chi was now linked with the devil chi of the entire devil army. With that, he managed to resist the allure of the major world golden coin. You are wrong. What will kill you is not me, nor is it the major world golden coin. It is yourself, said Maru Ayan. Upon forming hand seals, the major world golden coin began to slowly rotate. At that moment, every life form, including those from the martial heaven continent and the other worlds, felt a bout of dizziness. As a result, the devil race's emperor coughed up a mouthful of blood. The pressure he felt instantly multiplied, and the desires that had been suppressed erupted. His body once more became covered in cracks. As for the devil race's army, their bodies also shuddered. They were clearly affected as well. However, now that their power was linked, they could not pull back. Otherwise, if their emperor died, it would be an unbearable blow to their race. Their souls were connected to their emperor in order to share his burden. It was essentially spreading the power of the major world divine world so that they each shared the burden. Maru Ayan couldn't help sighing. As businessmen, we don't like killing. This idea was Long Chen's. So don't blame me when you die. Suddenly, the major world golden coin's inner square quivered and countless figures appeared. Those figures all had a mark on their foreheads, and it was a golden devil character. Yu Ziaokian appeared, leading the experts of the original devil race. As they had been accumulating their power for a long time, the devil suppressing divine seals on their foreheads thrummed with power. On the other hand, the devil race's emperor was filled with fear. He let out a terrified roar. No. Divine light descended, falling onto his body. As a result, his devil chi became stagnant. Even with the entire devil race's army gathered together, he was temporarily suppressed. A few breaths time might not be anything significant during normal times, but now it was fatal. Without the support of his army, his body instantly inflated. Boom. As his body exploded. Devil Chi and Essence Blood blasted apart the golden coins. Even the major world golden coin was blasted back. Because of the powerful impact, the entire martial heaven continent shuddered, and the water of the martial heaven sea ring burst, forming a tsunami in the air. It then crashed down on mountains and submerged cities. If the commoners of the martial heaven continent were not being protected at the core, it was unknown just how many people would have died here. The devil race's army was also implicated. Their heads exploded, and only a bit more than 10 commanders survived due to not participating. Bait reinforcements and then kill them all. Ugh. This kind of move is not for business. Maru Ayan shook his head. This move of Long Chen's was truly vicious. When Long Chen had learned of the major world golden coin, he had come up with three tactics involving it and the original devil race encountering the devil race. The tactic that they had used this time was one of those three. Originally, Long Chen hadn't had much hope for this plan because it required a certain amount of luck. 
He felt that his luck would never be that good. The other two tactics would be slightly less effective, but if done properly, they could still instantly wipe out a quarter of the Devil Race's combat power. What Long Chen hadn't expected was that since he had only come up with the plan, while the main character was actually Maruayan, there was no bad luck. Maruayan was a wealthy and lucky man, not someone cursed with abysmal luck like Long Chen. At this moment, the bodies of the Devil Race's army fell from the sky, and everyone could only stare in stunned silence. Even Maruayan himself shuddered. This blow was truly vicious, so vicious that it made him uneasy. After all, he was a businessman, not a killer. For all these lives to be destroyed because of him. Wealth God, bear witness. Disciple does not have a slaughtering heart, prayed Maruayan. Suddenly, the martial heaven continent shuddered along with the divine family's immortal palace, the devil race and the demonic beast race's altars, and the blood race's giant egg. The land began to rapidly rise once more. Not good. Too many were killed in an instant. Their blood soul power is too much. Maruayan's expression suddenly changed. Zi Yan's zither music possessed a strange power that caused the blood soul power from the dead to dissipate, meaning that the heaven devastating bracelet and the altars of the others couldn't absorb that power. However, this blow had been too vicious. They had killed too many, and her zither music was not able to remove it all. Since that was the case, a huge amount of power filled the air, providing the heaven devastating bracelet and the altar endless energy. As a result, the earth exploded as the heaven devastating bracelet contracted, seemingly wanting to crush the world. As for Long Chen, he was still chasing down Yi Ming who was fleeing like a rat. His entire body was covered in blood, and Long Chen was constantly landing more blows on him, just as the devil race's army was wiped out. The corrupt god cemetery's space exploded. Resentful Death City finally pierced the walls of space and entered the martial heaven continent. In that instant, Yi Ming's sovereign crown became fully solid and golden. Ha ha ha. Finally Yi Ming suddenly roared and a chi wave exploded out of his body. It was so powerful that Long Chen was blown back a few miles. Upon seeing this, Long Chen's heart shuddered. Yi Ming's aura had changed. Originally. Yi Ming could be considered to have reached half a step into the realm of a divine Tao, but now he was fully within it. Be suppressed. Yi Ming suddenly smashed a palm at Long Chen, which caused the world and its laws to crumble. Fragments of spastime flew. This was the true power of a sovereign, the power that a sovereign should possess. With a single blow, heaven and earth collapsed. Boom. Even with his full power, Long Chen was sent flying back. It felt like he had been struck by a star, and he coughed up a mouthful of blood. Stamping on the ground, he stabilized himself. Not good. I don't have enough power to use the true six-star battle armor. Without it, I can't fight against a true sovereign Long Chen. I will pass my final bit of energy to you and help you become sovereign suddenly. A message rang out in Long Chen's mind. Chapter 2767 Sovereigns appear just at this moment. The world changed. The eastern wasteland bell, the western desert axe, the southern sea zither, the northern sore sword, and the central plains cauldron's images appeared in the sky. The five divine items were finally gathered. Their true bodies were still in everybody's hands, but the images in the sky seemed to be their souls. When the light of these five divine items appeared, the heaven devastating bracelet appeared on top of the martial heaven sea ring. The heaven devastating bracelet was enormous, so enormous that it terrified people. After absorbing all the blood soul energy, strange runes appeared on its body. They were like countless vipers. The heaven devastating bracelet was like the hand clutching the heart of the martial heaven continent. Long Chen hadn't expected Maru Ayan's attack to lead to this. Senior, are you the spirit of the martial heaven continent? asked Long Chen. I am the heart of the martial heaven continent. All life forms of this world were born from me. Right now, there is no longer any way to avoid this calamity, and it is fated that this epoch is to end. I do not fear destruction, but I hope that my children can escape this tribulation. With my final energy, I can aid you in becoming a sovereign. I only hope that you can save everyone here. The voice was warm and gentle. It was like a mother's voice, a voice that was one step from reaching the end. For some reason, this voice made Long Chen's heart sad. 
This was the final warmth that the martial heaven continent could give its people. Boom. Yi Ming once more attacked, causing Long Chen's blood to flip inside of him. Having become a sovereign, with resentful Death City floated behind him, Yi Ming had an unending source of power. Long Chen, don't be afraid. You've humiliated me so many times, so I won't let you die so quickly. I'll return all this humiliation a hundred times over. The void splintered. The laws and deos of the world crumbled with every one of Yi Ming's moves. Boom. Long Chen once more blocked and was sent smashing into the ground by a kick. It's useless. Even if you are a nine-star heir, you haven't awakened the hegemon aura. You cannot win this battle. I chose you as the Gamma Breaker because you are a nine-star heir. But if you want to break this game, you must become a sovereign. Don't hesitate, said that voice. If I use your final power to become a sovereign, you will have nothing else left. You'll die, said Long Chen. Long Chen was well aware of the energy requirement for the nine-star hegemon body art's final vestiges beyond the ninth. It was a terrifying amount. He estimated that drawing this energy from the martial heaven continent itself would cause the core to instantly die. The martial heaven continent only wished to defend this world's people. How could he cause it to die? Don't worry about me. I'm under the control of the heaven devastating bracelet. Even if I don't die. I will land in their hands and become a tool. But if I die, the heaven devastating bracelet will also be affected. That will be your chance to shatter this board. Once you become a sovereign, these people won't be a match for you. I ask you to bring these innocent people somewhere safe so they can continue living. The heaven devastating bracelet. Long Chen suddenly had a thought, and the earth exploded as he shot out. How long are you planning on hiding? Aren't you very arrogant? Why don't you continue? Yi Ming had been waiting for him and swung his palm at Long Chen's face. However, unexpectedly, Long Chen's hand struck his face first. He then borrowed the power to fly back and avoid Yi Ming's palm. At this moment, the altars from the demonic beast race, blood race, and devil race began to rumble. The auras of sovereigns began to rise. I don't have any more time to play with you. You can die now. Yi Ming's expression changed. He hadn't expected the others to be so prepared. The nine-headed lion, the Aldevil Heavenwalker, and the blood fiend Devil Lord were also about to become sovereigns. Hence, Yi Ming had to capture the core first, or his odds of getting it would sharply drop. Stamping on the air, he unleashed a palm that blew Long Chen back, and then a bone spear appeared in his hand, stabbing toward Long Chen's throat. Just as the spear was about to pierce Long Chen's throat, a hand caught the spear causing Long Chen to be surprised. He was covered in cold sweat. That bone spear was a terrifying weapon that caused his hair to stand on end as soon as it appeared. A white-robed figure then appeared in front of Long Chen. That figure looked back at Long Chen and smiled. Little brother, we meet again. Big brother Yun Shang Long Chen let out a startled cry. The one to save him was Sovereign Yun Shang. Yi Ming jumped when he saw Sovereign Yun Shang. His spear trembled. Shaking off Sovereign Yun Shang's hold. At this moment, he was completely bewildered. He looked around and suddenly became terrified. Long Chen followed Yi Ming's gaze. At some point, a figure had appeared beneath each of the five supreme divine items. Long Chen then saw Sovereign Ching Shu, Sovereign Mo Li, Sovereign Han Wei, and Sovereign Zi Yang. The five sovereigns had all appeared at once. Looking at the sovereigns, the people at the core cheered, kneeling. They were so emotional that some of them wept. With all five sovereigns appearing, they felt that the martial heaven continent would be saved. Long Chen, go. Listen to her arrangements. Her wishes are our wishes. You once asked me why we had died. I didn't answer you back then. But I'll tell you now. No one was capable of killing us. We voluntarily died. Returning our karmic luck back to the world so that it could continue surviving. One generation after another. We waited for the one who could break this hopeless deadlock. Now, we have reached this era Sovereign Yun Shang patted Long Chen's shoulder. I believe in you. You can definitely do it. A dead person shouldn't be so meddlesome. Die. Yi Ming was first afraid. But then he realized that he was already a sovereign. And his opponent had died. What was he afraid of? Hence, he unleashed another attack with his spear. Encompassing both Long Chen and Sovereign Yun Shang. Sovereign Yun Shang then unleashed a palm, 
when his palm met the bone spear, crack spread in the air, and the spear was stopped. Sovereign Yan Chang looked at Ji Ming and shook his head. If I was still alive, you would be dead. Your Dao eliminated. You are too weak. After that, Sovereign Yan Chang's palm shuddered, and Yi Ming felt a burst of power knock him back. A trace of blood flowed out of his mouth. Novaloon.com Long Chen. Time is pressing. Don't be fooled by them. They are nothing more than minor characters, said Yan Chang. He pushed Long Chen, and Long Chen instantly vanished. Chapter 2768 The Sovereign's Devotion Yan Chang sent Long Chen away with a single palm. He then formed a hand seal and a pillar of light soared into the sky, enveloping the entire martial heaven continent. After that, the light contracted, sweeping through the battlefield. All the martial heaven continent's experts that were fighting vanished. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and the others suddenly found themselves within the core of the martial heaven continent. They were also protected now. What Mo Nian was dumbfounded. What was this supposed to be? Were they not supposed to fight? At this moment, Sovereign Yan Chang's figure appeared below the image of the Eastern Wasteland Bell. He overlooked the entire battlefield. Yan Chang, Mo Li, Qing Shu, Han Wei, and Zi Yang formed hand seals, and the five divine items unleashed divine light that protected everyone. The five sovereigns spoke in unison, their voices thundering throughout the world. All devils and gods here, using my name as sovereign, I swear that as long as I live, I will protect this territory. I will slay devils for the martial heaven continent. If I am dead, then my soul will not enter reincarnation. It will enter the earth and nourish all life. When demons attack, my blood soul will awaken and become the wall that repels evil. Heaven and earth resonated with their words, and the barrier that the sovereigns had created protected everyone, moving countless people to tears. The sovereigns had fought for the martial heaven continent and died for the martial heaven continent. They were truly their protective gods. The sovereigns were unrivaled. No one could kill them. Hence, they had willingly died to pass their energy back to the continent, allowing more people to be blessed by karmic luck so they could find the chance to break this board. Every generation of the sovereigns had saved the continent. They had given up their chance to become gods, given up on reincarnation, instead fading forever from the world in order to protect it. Mo Nian, Guo Ran, Gu Yang, and the others couldn't hold back their tears either. They had spilled blood countless times in battle without crying, but today they cried. This world had a kind of realm that could not be passed, and it was called Sovereign, a hero who had paid everything for the continent. This world has never known peace. It was only people taking the burden for us. The only reason we can see light is because others used their bodies and souls to block the darkness, said Meng Chi, sobbing. The sovereigns had died and their remnants were still protecting everyone. When that power ran out, the sovereigns would truly vanish. In the future, as time passed, how many people would still remember them? How many would prefer to think of them as myths? The high priest, Ling Yunzi, Maruian, Daoist Heavenly Feather, and the others were also brought in. The sovereigns are supreme the high priest sighed in admiration. Although he was a follower of the wine god. He still felt worship for the sovereigns. The armies of the blood race, demonic beast race, and undying race assaulted the sovereign's barrier, but it didn't even quiver. As for the devil race's army, they had almost been completely wiped out. All that remained were some people standing beside the altar and the Aldevil Heaven Walker who was on the altar, absorbing energy. Ling Yunzi said, The sovereigns have temporarily stopped the battle to avoid further losses that would give them more blood soul energy and allow them to become sovereigns faster. The heaven devastating bracelet seems to have been temporarily suppressed as well, said Maruayan. The world had returned to calm, and the earth was no longer rising like before. The crisis had been temporarily alleviated. The power of the sovereigns will run out sooner or later. Master, what should we do? asked Yu Zifeng. Ling Yunzi smiled slightly. What we should do is patiently wait. This is a battle to seize the heavens. Only someone who can defy the heavens can turn the tides. A person who can defy the heavens? Is that boss? Asked Guo Ran and the others. Ling Yunzi nodded. Yes. The favorites of the heavens are the Empyreans. There are some oddities as well like heaven Caesars. 
but the ones that cause the heavens to be terrified are heaven defiers. The laws of the world are in chaos, so there is no need to conceal Long Chen's identity any longer. Hearing that Long Chen was a heaven defier, countless jaws dropped. Li Xiangxuan was completely calm as he had long since guessed this identity. No wonder he faced so many tribulations in his life. His heavenly tribulations were absolutely terrifying ones that only sought to kill him. The heavenly deos clearly wanted him dead. People came to a sudden understanding. The legends mention that heaven defiers usually have companions. No wonder everyone around Long Chen also cultivates so quickly. As a heaven defier, he forcibly raised a group of people without much talent into apex experts. Novaloon.com The existence of heaven defiers was unknown to most of the junior generation, but some of the seniors knew of them. There were many legends of them. Those legends said that heaven defiers soared like shooting stars, but it was always the case that they died to heavenly tribulation just as their light began to bloom. No heaven defiers ever actually managed to grow up. They all died young, so most people didn't care too much about their legends. When Ling Yunzi revealed Long Chen's identity, it shocked countless people. That was because there were no legends of a heaven defier that had grown to this point. Haha, <laughs> this little fellow really is a heaven defier. That's enough for me to brag for a lifetime. The old man laughed proudly. He was covered in fresh blood from the battle, but he didn't care about it at all. He didn't even wipe that blood away. Although the heaven-splitting divine sect had Bao Buping and Chang Hao, in terms of combat power, they were still inferior to the old man. The old man had spent a lifetime studying the ninth form of Split the Heavens and the Battle God Sacred Canon. With Long Chen's medicinal pills, he had managed to reach the Midheaven Merging Realm. However, even though he was only at the Midheaven Merging Realm, his killing power surpassed Bao Buping and Chang Hao. In a real fight against the old man, the two of them would be slain in less than 10 exchanges. To use the old man's words, old ginger was hotter than young ginger. Moreover, the old man had the heaven-splitting blade and the support of the heaven-splitting divine tablet. With the assistance of these two divine items, he was almost unrivaled. If it weren't for Bao Buping and Chang Hao pulling him back as if their lives depended on it, the old man might have challenged one of the emperors. Speaking of Long Chen, where is he? Asked Ku Jinying. After searching amongst the crowd, she didn't see Long Chen. Long Chen has been sent to the heart of the starfield. Prepare yourselves. This barrier won't last too long. The Martial Heaven Continent needs everyone's power to defend it. Sovereign Yun Shang's voice rang out in everyone's ears. Chapter 2769 The only way Long Chen entered a strange world. It was a world of fantasy that was thrumming with life. From the sky, Long Chen looked down on the rolling hills. This place looked a bit familiar. He could vaguely see mountain ranges, rivers, and terrain that looked similar to some parts of the central plains. However, here, everything was on a much larger scale, so large that it couldn't be described. Could this be? The martial heaven continent's gentle voice rang out. Yes, this is the most primitive appearance of the martial heaven continent. Back then, countless cultivators were born every day and there were thousands and thousands of people who ascended every year, reaching the higher realm. The laws of heaven and earth were complete, and the path to the heavens was clear. Everything followed the proper sequence. The people back then knew what it meant to respect and be grateful to the heavens. When mining ores, people knew to leave the source of the mine behind so that years later, strangers could harvest more. All kinds of sects and schools littered the land. There was constant fighting and competition but never any large-scale wars. Moreover, cultivators never harmed the commoners. I was young back then and full of life. Through the movement of the cosmos, I could absorb more energy for myself and pass it to my children. Seeing them escape the restrictions of the heavenly deos and spread their wings in a higher plane, I was filled with pride. The martial heaven continent fell silent, seemingly lost in its memories. It then sighed. That all ended one day. Crisis fell, and I was shackled by chains, unable to absorb any further energy from the cosmos. I only had my own body. I thought that if I could pass through this time, everything would be fine. But things only got worse. Invaders came, assaulting the continent, killing my children, and destroying my body. 
Merciless plundering and slaughter wreaked havoc. I could only watch as they killed my children. I cannot describe that pain. With that tribulation, I had no other choice but to condense all my power into one expert. Thus, Yan Chang rose and became the first generation sovereign. However, he told me that his heavenly fate I saw a trace of hope for the future. He told me to patiently wait. Later on, he made himself dissipate, becoming one with the Tao. I wanted to stop him, but I couldn't. Then it was Jing Shu, Mo Li, Han Wei, and Zi Yang. The martial heaven continent's voice began to sob. They were all good children, but to protect me, they sacrificed their chance to reincarnate. They forever vanished from this world. Long Chen finally learned of the history of the sovereigns. They were existences that had the continent's karmic luck concentrated in them. In the end, when they found that they were unable to save the world from its predicament, they chose to return to the Tao, passing that karmic luck back to the continent. Although they died, their soul essence remained, and their hearts were always thinking of the martial heaven continent. Until the end, they spilled every last drop of blood, every trace of soul essence for the continent. These were things that the sovereigns had never told him, so only now did Long Chen understand just how heavy the burden that the sovereigns had entrusted to him was. He couldn't help feeling even greater reverence for the sovereigns. Just this devotion to the continent, this willingness to sacrifice everything for the continent was something that he would never be able to do. The invaders have come once more. Their blood soul power is activating the heaven devastating bracelet, but it also triggered the protective wills of Yun Shang, Qing Shu, Mo Li, Han Wei, and Zi Yang. The will of the five sovereigns has managed to temporarily suppress the heaven devastating bracelet and buy time for us. Now, it just so happens that the blood soul power outside is capable of stimulating all the remaining energy in me, and I can aid you in becoming a sovereign after saying this. Countless runes condensed in the air, transforming into an arm. The hand brushed against Long Chen's cheek warmly just like a mother's hand, and a finger pressed against Long Chen's forehead. The world then rumbled. Countless runes flowed into that arm, and immense power gathered. It felt like it was enough power to drown this entire world. This was the final energy of the core of the starfield, the heart of this world. Even with one foot in the grave, the martial heaven continent still possessed such vast power. Prepare yourself. No. Novaloon.com Long Chen instinctively dodged to the side, avoiding this energy. As for why he did so, he didn't even know. All he knew was that his instincts told him that if he did this, this world would definitely die. He couldn't accept it. Long Chen, this is the only way to save us. We are all trapped. I know you're a kind child, but there is no time to waste. This is the only hope, said the martial heaven continent. Long Chen also knew that only by absorbing this energy could he save the world. But even if he could save the people, the martial heaven continent would be destroyed. Was this world that the five sovereigns had entrusted to him going to die in his hands just like this? There must be another way. There has to be. Long Chen clenched his fists, racking his brain for ideas. But he couldn't think of anything other than this. It's useless. This board was set in place over a hundred thousand years ago, and the five sovereigns came to the same conclusion together. Don't feel any guilt. As long as you can protect my children, I am willing to make any sacrifice. Why? You love them, but they don't love you. They spend all day fighting, their hearts covered in shadows. They also destroy your body, not giving you any respect or gratitude. Why do you treat them like this? Long Chen suddenly became angry. This anger stemmed from how this world could be like this. People treated the continent with no gratitude, destroying it. Hence, even without the attacks from the outsiders, the continent would still have been destroyed eventually. But the continent still wanted to save them. The martial heaven continent was silent. It then sighed. They are my children. Whether they are good or bad, I cannot change them. But they are my children. I love every single one of them. You might find that foolish, but as the spirit of this world, I love all my children, no matter how they treat me. Long Chen, I beg you, do not hesitate any longer. There is not that much time before everything will be too late. The heaven devastating bracelet can only be temporarily suppressed. It has bound me for too many years and absorbed too much of my energy. 
the sum of its energy even surpasses mine. The only way to destroy it is for you to become a sovereign and gain control over the five supreme divine items. As long as I destroy the heaven devastating bracelet, will you be able to escape? Could you then help us fight the invaders? Long Chen suddenly jumped up, thinking of a possibility. What? That is impossible. Chapter 2770 Taking it first answer me. If I could destroy the heaven devastating bracelet, would that resolve the crisis of the martial heaven continent asked Long Chen. The martial heaven continent said, it could only count as half resolved. The internal trouble would be resolved. But there are still the outside troubles. What are the outside troubles? Long Chen was originally excited. But this response was like a bucket of ice water over his head. The heaven devastating bracelet is the key to opening the wall of ascension. They view the martial heaven continent as a hunting ground, and every dark era's battle is a hunt. But this time, the hunt is over. They don't just want to reap lives but also destroy everything here. The heaven devastating bracelet is absorbing the blood soul energy in order to control the starfield core and make me fall into slumber, making me unable to retaliate. This is to create their own path through the Wall of Ascension. More experts could then pass through the Wall of Ascension from that path. It's a gamble. By using Blood Soul Energy to activate the Heaven Devastating Bracelet, they've also allowed us to use the Blood Soul Energy to awaken the will of the Sovereigns. Victory or defeat is decided by time. If you become a Sovereign and break the channel that they build, then those higher experts will be unable to descend here. The heaven devastating bracelet is just a tool that seals me. If those higher experts do come though, at that time, everything will be meaningless. You must use the power of the five supreme divine items to destroy the heaven devastating bracelet before that. That is the only way to save everyone. It would save everyone, but it would destroy our home. A thriving world will become a land of death. Long Chen shook his head. He didn't want to imagine living in such a world. As long as there's life, there's a future. You can think of some way to pass through a spatial wall and find a new world. Long Chen sighed. I essentially understand your plan. You are fighting for time, and the heaven devastating bracelet is now a secondary threat. What is most worrisome is that more experts will descend from outside this world. We must seal this path before they descend. But I have my own plan. Since you've entrusted your life to me, listen to me. What plan? Long Chen said, Senior, please send me to the heaven devastating bracelet. If I fail, I'll accept your suggestion right away. The space around Long Chen changed, and he appeared on the martial heaven continent, standing on top of the heaven devastating bracelet. Only when he stood on top of it did he feel just how minuscule he was in comparison to it. Long Chen had originally pumped himself up for this, but seeing its giant body made him deflate. It was truly enormous. What do you want to do? We don't have much time, said the Martial Heaven Continent. Senior, can you help me? I want to take the Heaven Devastating Bracelet. Long Chen took a deep breath. His divine ring spun behind him, and his six-star battle armor appeared. Impossible, exclaimed the Martial Heaven Continent. Whether or not it's impossible will be decided at this moment. Senior, as long as you help me lift it up. You can leave the rest to me, said Long Chen. If the heaven devastating bracelet is moved, the suppression that the five sovereigns have placed on it will weaken. If it goes out of control, then the sovereign's final hope will also be extinguished. Long Chen, are you really confident the current heaven devastating bracelet was still suppressed, and Long Chen's action could lead to unforeseen consequences? It might ruin all their preparations. I am confident. As long as you can lift it up. Long Chen nodded. All right. Since I've chosen you, I will leave it to you. Sighed the martial heaven continent. The land suddenly began to quiver. And the giant heaven devastating bracelet slowly floated into the sky. Its giant form appeared above the martial heaven sea ring. Darkening the world. The experts at the core of the continent finally had a view of just how giant it was. As it rose. The formation that the five sovereigns had created shuddered. However, the invaders actually stopped attacking. They retreated, with some who didn't retreat in time consumed by the divine light of the heaven devastating bracelet. It really is enormous when its entire body appeared above the sea. Long Chen felt like an ant in front of a giant city. However, he clenched his teeth. 
No matter what, he had to go all out. Long Chen then pressed his hands against the heaven devastating bracelet. With a roar, his divine ring expanded, forming a giant spatial hole. The other side of this hole was the primal chaos space. This giant spatial hole was his limit after advancing to the ninth heaven stage. However, it was still minuscule compared to the heaven devastating bracelet. It was like an ordinary person trying to use their mouth to swallow a table. The mouth was far too small in comparison, and there was no way to squeeze the table in. Get in here, Long Chen roared, the veins on his forehead throbbing. At this moment, countless stars appeared around his arms as he pulled. However, no matter how he pulled, he was like an ant shaking a tree. The heaven devastating bracelet didn't even budge, as it was too heavy. It was practically an entire world. Senior, help me, shouted Long Chen. Senior Long Chen waited, but the martial heaven continent didn't reply. It seemed to be making a difficult decision. We trust Long Chen. Do it. The five sovereigns suddenly spoke at the same time. The next moment, the heaven devastating bracelet quivered, and it was pulled toward Long Chen's divine ring. On the other hand, Long Chen's divine ring began to crack and crumble. However, he continued to pull it in. Suddenly, the heaven devastating bracelet seemed to awaken, and countless runes lit up on it. As a result, Long Chen's body instantly received a backlash, and he became covered in cracks. But he still didn't give up. As for now, a very small portion of the heaven devastating bracelet had been brought into the primal chaos space, and its pressure already crushed all the plants and trees inside of the primal chaos space. Only the heavenly Tao tree at the center of the black soil remained undamaged, but even its fruit had been destroyed. Long Chen, give up on this. The heaven devastating bracelet is about to awaken, urged the martial heaven continent. Long Chen's method was impossible. The heaven devastating bracelet was too heavy, and no one could possibly take it. Hence, Long Chen's idea was a wild fantasy. Boom. Suddenly. Long Chen took out Evil Moon and struck the heaven devastating bracelet. It quivered and a terrifying aura rose. No, the martial heaven continent cried out in shock, but it was too late. Long Chen had woken the heaven devastating bracelet. As the heaven devastating bracelet's terrifying power raged, huge cracks appeared within Long Chen's primal chaos space. Just at that moment, an incomparably sharp, majestic, and Sacred Will was also startled awake. Chapter 2771 Primal Chaos Bead vs Heaven Devastating Bracelet Deal with it. Long Chen cried out excitedly when he sensed that Will awaken. He had finally succeeded. Even without Long Chen's shout, the Primal Chaos space shuddered and a fierce aura erupted. It was as if a sleeping dragon had been awoken. Long Chen only sensed a formless power strike the heaven devastating bracelet before a giant explosion shook the primal chaos space. At this moment, the giant heaven devastating bracelet was pierced through. A giant hole appeared in it. The heaven devastating bracelet hadn't shattered, but just how many times more power must it require to pierce through it rather than shatter it? Even the martial heaven continent was stunned. After that, the runes covering the heaven devastating bracelet began to explode, and countless cracks appeared throughout the heaven devastating bracelet. As a result, the world's aura suddenly cleared, and endless spiritual chi exploded. The density of the spiritual chi was hundreds of times greater than the best spirit gathering formation. What seeing the heaven devastating bracelet's runes vanish, the invaders were dumbfounded. How can that be? The heaven devastating bracelet is an immortal item from a higher plane. There is no power in the lower plane that can destroy it, exclaimed the blood races emperor. In the immortal battle back then, the martial heaven continent had been in its strongest state, with countless experts. Even so, no one had been able to destroy the heaven devastating bracelet, even though the heaven devastating bracelet had been suppressed. As long as it was given time, it would automatically recover. They were never able to destroy it. However, now it was destroyed, and they didn't even see how it was done. Its item spirit was dead, and the energy it had been extracting all these years was slowly released back into the continent. You, you really did it. The heaven devastating bracelet's energy is slowly returning to its source, exclaimed the martial heaven continent. Just at this moment, the five sovereigns barrier spread, 
encompassing the heaven devastating bracelet as well. Long Chen, don't waste time. The crisis hasn't ended. Absorb the energy and become a sovereign. We must seal the path before they descend, said Sovereign Yun Shang. Everyone else, focus on cultivating. We will keep your foundations stable. Make further breakthroughs, said Sovereign Zi Yang to the Martial Heaven Continents experts. The five sovereigns sat in the air, in the east, west, south, north, and center. At the same time, the five supreme divine items unleashed divine light that thrummed through the air. It made people's minds instantly forget about the invaders, which allowed them to enter a meditative state as fast as possible. Stop them. The blood races emperor howled and led his army in attacking the five sovereigns barrier. They hadn't been able to shake their barrier before. But now that the barrier had been expanded, due to how its power had been spread further, it was shaking with every blow. However, this barrier was created with the five sovereigns' soul essence, and it contained the power of five generations of sovereigns. Even if it was spread thinly, the invaders were unable to break it temporarily. Just at this moment, spiritual chi was exploding out of the heaven-devastating bracelet. The energy it had accumulated for tens of thousands of years was being released. As for Long Chen, he was standing within the hole of the heaven-devastating bracelet. Stars revolved around him, and he was crazily sucking in the energy of the heaven-devastating bracelet. In just a short half an incense stick's worth of time, Long Chen's aura grew another level. He had reached the tenth heaven stage. With his astral energy awakened, Long Chen's nine-star hegemon body art possessed a terrifying devouring power. If it weren't for Yi Ming launching the attack in advance, Long Chen could have taken a stroll throughout the various worlds, and it wouldn't take too long for him to absorb enough energy to at least become an emperor. The heaven-devastating bracelet had been like a blood-sucking leech absorbing the martial heaven continent. Now that it had been killed by the primal chaos bead, all that energy was finally returning to the continent. The primal chaos bead had once more shown its terror. The heaven-devastating bracelet that had been shocking the martial heaven continent for so many years was killed in one blow. Regretfully, the primal chaos bead had returned to silence once more. No matter how long Chen tried to commune with it, it ignored him. Ever since he had obtained the primal chaos bead, he had only been able to control the space inside of it. He couldn't actually use it to attack. However, he knew that when it was provoked, it would automatically strike back. This time, his gamble had paid off. Long Chen knew that his luck was rotten, but bad luck didn't matter in front of absolute power. The primal chaos bead had instantly wiped out the heaven-devastating bracelet. It could only be said that the two were not on the same level. Long Chen knew that the most terrifying existence on him was the primal chaos bead. Regretfully, he had no idea how to use it. However, just using it to destroy the heaven-devastating bracelet already satisfied him. It had saved the martial heaven continent and returned its energy. At this moment, starlight appeared around Long Chen. The heaven-devastating bracelet's energy poured into him at an unimaginable rate. While Long Chen was cultivating, a rain of light fell within the barrier. This was the rain of the heavenly deos, and it allowed people to quickly comprehend the heavenly deos and make breakthroughs. It was the martial heaven continent's will. Since Long Chen no longer needed her help, she passed this energy to the martial heaven continent's experts. She was the heart of the continent and its will. She was the highest law of the continent. Hence, with her help, countless experts made breakthroughs. With every breath, countless people advanced. Those at the lower realms in particular were making consecutive breakthroughs. Those in the early heaven merging realm made three breakthroughs in just an incense stick's worth of time, reaching the mid-heaven merging realm. The dragonblood warriors' auras also rapidly climbed. They seemed on the verge of advancing to the tenth heaven stage. Upon seeing this, the invaders' expressions all changed. At this moment, they assaulted the barrier with all their power, causing it to shake intensely. Its defensive power had fallen. We can't continue like this. If this matter is delayed, all of us will be killed, said the undying races G.U.I.C. Yi Ming was attacking the barrier with all his power. He was the only one who had become a sovereign. But even he was unable to break this barrier in a short time. Yi Ming was infuriated. Even as a sovereign, 
he still faced consecutive setbacks and defeats. He had barely managed to suppress Long Chen before Sovereign Yun Chang appeared, and the latter had actually viewed him as nothing. Then what can we do? Roared Yi Ming. There is no other way. Carry out the blood sacrifice said the blood races emperor. Upon hearing this, the others' expressions changed, but they nodded. Very quickly, countless life forms came pouring out of the entrances to Devil Spirit Mountain, the Yun Yang World, the ancient battlefield, and the corrupt God Cemetery, the life forms of the Devil Race, Blood Race, Demonic Beast Race, and Undying Race were thrown out like beasts of burden. They all had low cultivation basis. They had just come onto the continent when various attacks fell, blasting them apart. Their blood dyed the ground. Chapter 2772 Emperor Mo Nian What are they doing? Startled cries rang out. Their enemies were now killing their own people? The high priest sighed. They truly are ruthless. We aren't fighting them in order to slow down the blood soul energy absorption of their altars. So they brought out life forms from their own worlds to slaughter. Wealth God, bless them with your protection. Don't let them reincarnate there again. Prayed Maruayan. Unable to bear watching this but helpless to stop the slaughter. For their goals, these experts were willing to do anything. With the lack of blood soul energy, their solution was to kill fellow members of their own races. Some of the weaker life forms had yet to reach the Xi'anchen realm, but they were still sent over as lambs for the slaughter. This scene was one from hell. Even though they were enemies, people couldn't help feeling anger to see these life forms being slaughtered. But they also felt profoundly powerless. Maruayan, the high priest, Daoist Heavenly Feather, and the other experts who had lived for so long had essentially had their cultivation bases solidified. They could only guard and watch what was happening. Curiously, Ling Yunzi also didn't cultivate. He just watched. It seemed that this scene was unable to cause his emotions to stir. Other than them, the majority of the continent's experts were in meditative states. Unaware of what was happening, they were focused on advancing as quickly as possible. Within the barrier, auras were erupting with every passing moment. After two hours, all of the Dragonblood Legion's warriors advanced to the Venerate Realm. Furthermore, their auras were still continuing to climb. At this moment, Zi Yan, Mo Nian, and Yi's Hikyu slowly awoke. The aura of emperors swirled around them. They had advanced to the Emperor Realm. Ha ha ha. I. Mo Nian, have become an emperor, ancestors of the Mo family, just watch me, Mo Nian suddenly roared, unable to contain himself, Yi Ming, Mo Nian suddenly charged out of the barrier, seeing Yi Ming assaulting the barrier, he shot toward him, Mo Nian knew that in every generation of the martial heaven continent, only one person could possibly become a sovereign, so becoming an emperor was his limit, at this moment, he needed to fight for more time for Long Chen. Courting death, Yi Ming's fury soared. Seeing Mo Nian's kick, he reached out to grab his foot. Boom. Mo Nian's foot landed squarely on Yi Ming's hand, causing Yi Ming's body to shudder. However, he grabbed hold of his foot. Die. Yi Ming sneered. Although Mo Nian's power was extremely strong, he was just an emperor. He still wasn't a perfect match for Yi Ming. However, just as he pulled, a sharp pain came from his cheek. Mo Nian's heaven-seizing sun hunting bow had whipped across his face. This technique was an imitation of Long Chen's face-slapping art. With the longbow, it was much more convenient. With the kick to lay the groundwork, this bow slap was very well done. As a result, Yi Ming's face was badly lacerated. His head looked like it had been split open. Since he couldn't see or hear anything, he naturally let go. Mo Nian pulled back his foot and then unleashed a kick with his other foot, striking Yi Ming's nose and sending him flying. Idiot. Even now you only have a melon seed rolling in your head, sneered Mo Nian. He had seen Long Chen's fight against Yi Ming and clearly saw that other than having the power of a sovereign, Yi Ming's weaknesses were all the same as before. After kicking him away, Mo Nian's bow bent like a crescent moon, and an arrow shot out like a shooting star. After all, he wasn't Long Chen. He wasn't skilled in close-range combat. Hence, after getting an advantage, he immediately stopped. Otherwise, a slip-up would result in him being buried here. Knowing exactly how much to show off before retreating was the true wisdom of a hero. 
At this moment, Yi Ming roared and punched Mo Nian's arrow. It exploded, leaving his hand bloody. Yi Ming furiously cursed. Bastard. Mo Nian was truly evil. That had been no ordinary arrow but an exploding arrow. Mo Nian had accurately predicted that in his current rage, Yi Ming wouldn't dodge. He would definitely block it head on to win back his face. But the arrow then exploded and bloodied his hand, further incensing him. Guo Ran's wares really are top notch, praised Mo Nian. This exploding arrow was made with hundreds of different immortal metals, and there was a formation carved inside of it. Even Yi Ming, who was now a sovereign, couldn't ignore it. TCH, you, the idiot who became sovereign. Today I'll show the world how I, Mo Nian, beat you. Remember the glory of how I fought across realms to defeat a sovereign Mo Nian waved his hand. At this moment, Yi's Hikyu flew out with the Northern Source Sword, and Wild charged at Ji Ming with the Western Desert Axe. All three of them attacked Ji Ming from different directions. You shameless bastard! Didn't you say you were fighting one against one? Roared Ji Ming. Mo Nian sneered. Idiot! When did I say that? I said that I would beat you. Did I say anything about not having any helpers? Wow, a sovereign is actually afraid of the three of us? You really are the most useless sovereign I've ever seen. You were already slapped and kicked around by Long Chen. He made you flee like a rat. Now against three emperors. You're so scared that you want to fight one against one? Do you still have any face? Compared to the five sovereigns of the Martial Heaven continent, you're simply an embarrassment. I won't make things hard on you. I'll give you a chance to simply kill yourself right here. I, I'll kill you. Yi Ming shuddered with rage at Mo Nian's shamelessness. He was clearly using numbers but still made it sound so dignified. However, despite it all clearly being nonsense, Yi Ming wasn't able to find a way to counter with words. Yi Ming's bone spear once more appeared. This time, the bone spear was even more demonic. It seemed that it was also absorbing blood soul energy from those being slain. Yi Ming charged toward Mo Nian with resentful Death City quivering behind him. However, he had just stepped forward when Wild viciously hacked the Western Desert Axe at him. Scram! roared Yi Ming. Boom! Wild was sent tumbling back, but Yi Ming's arms turned numb. Wild's physical power had exceeded the realm of common sense. While everyone else was cultivating, Wild hadn't cultivated. Not like he knew how to. All he sensed was endless energy filling his body, and it was even faster than when he ate meat. The Martial Heaven Continent had silently absorbed the blood chi in the air and sent it into his body, making his physical body absolutely terrifying. Again, what shocked and further enraged Yi Ming was that even before his numb arms recovered, Wild was already hacking the Western Desert Axe toward him. Chapter 2773 The next crisis descends Wild's entire body was covered in glowing golden runes, and his eyes were like lanterns. He was like a golden giant erupting with blood chi. Wild didn't know how to cultivate, nor did he understand how to use battle techniques. Since he relied entirely on brute power, there were no counter moves against him. If someone with ample battle experience wished to guess Wilde's next move, they would definitely die. It was unknown just how many experts had died like this to Wilde. Boom. Even Yi Ming didn't dare to be careless in front of Wilde's axe and had to face him with his full power. He blew Wilde back once more, but his own hand began to bleed. At this moment, Yi Ming's spear swung to the left, blocking Yi's Hikyu's sword. When these two world divine items clashed, it unleashed a world of frost that froze and shattered the laws of the world. Yi's Hikyu was like an ice goddess, with numerous palaces of ice crystals appearing within her manifestation. With a single sword, she froze the very sky. When Yi Ming blocked her attack, his entire body became encased with ice. The ice chi invaded his body, stabbing into his blood and flesh like needles. Undying nether chi Yi Ming roared, shattering the ice covering him. After that, he swung his spear and was barely able to strike Mo Nian's silent arrow before it hit him. Even one against three, Yi Ming was still in control. Bang. However, when he shattered Mo Nian's arrow, which he had thought would be a killing blow, he found that it was empty of any power. Using all his power on practically nothing caused him to stagger, and it was at this moment that another arrow thundered toward his chest. There was no time to dodge this. Boom. 
the arrow exploded on Yi Ming's chest. Even after circulating his sovereign power, his chest was left a bloody mess. Mo Nian, Yi Ming roared. Mo Nian was a conner. Furthermore, knowing that Yi Ming would automatically sense any arrow to his head, Mo Nian intentionally aimed for his chest, dulling his senses. It wasn't a fatal wound, but the pain was real. The exploding arrow left many pieces of shrapnel in his body. That shrapnel was barbed, and taking it out would rip out quite a bit of flesh as well. At this moment, Wild had returned, charging straight at Yi Ming, and Yi's Hikyu swung her eye sword. Yi Ming repeatedly howled furiously. Wild's brute power was terrifying, while Yi's Hikyu's ice energy was so ferocious that he struggled to deal with it. But most infuriating of all was Mo Nian who was launching sneak attacks from a distance. Occasionally, he would even send the Central Plains cauldron hurling toward Yi Ming. The three of them actually managed to completely tie Yi Ming down, and he couldn't be careless against any of them. One moment of overconfidence and he would be conned by Mo Nian. Suddenly, the sound of a zither rang out and Yi Ming's heart leaped. His aura suddenly grew sluggish for a moment. Boom. Wild's axe fell, sending him flying. After that, Yi Ming turned back to see that Zi Yan had also appeared. The current Zi Yan had reached the Emperor Realm, and chilling killing intent exuded out of her. Her zither music was full of brutal murderous aura. With every twang from her zither, Yi Ming felt his heart fluctuate. He was unable to prevent Zi Yan's zither music from affecting him. He blocked Yi's Hikyu's sword, only to be struck in the cheek by Mo Nian's arrow. It almost pierced through his head. Yi Ming was finally feeling fear. Zi Yan was playing the Devil Soul Refining Song, which had killed an unknown number of experts before this. Now that she had advanced to the Emperor Realm, and this song was being focused entirely on him, it felt like it was sucking away his soul. He had to resist its invasion as he fought, putting him at an immense disadvantage. Block him, shouted Mo Nian suddenly. At this moment, his bow quivered and three arrows flew out. As soon as they appeared, Yi Ming had a bad feeling and tried to flee. However, the three arrows flew toward him from three different directions, while Wild and Yi's Hikyu also attacked at the same time. Boom. Yi Ming coughed up blood. He had to block Wild's full power blow, resulting in him not having the power to stop Yi's Hikyu's sword from piercing his chest. Her attack froze his chest solid. Kill him shouted Mo Nian as their chance had come. Zi Yan's devil soul refining song was absolutely terrifying. Even a sovereign wasn't able to resist it, leaving himself open to being killed. The undying race's experts immediately rushed over when they saw things take such a drastic turn. Guic was the first to appear, going straight for Zi Yan. She was the most terrifying of the four of them. Scram. Zi Yan suddenly slammed both her hands on the southern sea zither. As a result, the seven strings shuddered, and divine light flew out of the zither, transforming into seven swords that slashed toward Guic. Guic was then sent flying, tumbling back wretchedly. Seven bloody holes were present throughout his body when he finally managed to stabilize himself. He was stunned. If it weren't for Zi Yan focusing mostly on Yi Ming, he might have died from that attack. How could she be so terrifying? What he didn't realize was that Zi Yan had just experienced a great tribulation. A kind and innocent person had been forcibly transformed into someone filled with boundless resentment and hatred. This kind of transformation from one limit to another, from white to black, from light to dark, would create a special kind of will. When a good person became a bad person, they reached the peak of that side. Zi Yan had constantly received teachings to be kind, to not harm other lives. However, in the yin-yang world, when the southern sea zither sealed her cultivation base, she saw the dark side of people. The southern sea zither had planted a seed in Zi Yan's heart at that time, and it had been suppressed by Zi Yan ever since then. She still chose to believe that this world was kind, that it was beautiful. That suppression continued all the way until she and Long Chen were schemed against. Upon seeing Long Chen fall for a death trap because of her, Upon seeing the music master's hypocritical face clearly, that suppressed seed erupted. It instantly sprouted. Having been suppressed for so long, it unleashed unimaginable power. The devil soul refining song was something Sovereign Han Wei created. However, Zi Yan had surpassed her in this regard. 
Her song was even more terrifying than hers. If it weren't due to the southern seas either needing half of its power focused on the barrier created by the five sovereigns, just Zi Yan alone would be enough to handle Yi Ming. With Yi Ming in crisis, countless undying experts charged over, even detonating themselves in order to interfere on their battlefield. At this time, the undying race's terror was revealed. They had a solid belief and were unafraid of death. Pull back. Stop. Stop fighting. Shouted Mo Nian. This was increasing the amount of blood soul energy filling the air. He pulled back Wild who was still charging over. However, just at that moment, his expression changed. Boom. The demonic beast race's altar suddenly exploded, and a sovereign crown appeared on the nine-headed lion's head. He had also become sovereign. The nine-headed lion roared, shaking the land. A powerful aura unfurled and killing intent raged out of him. Long Chen. Come out and face your death. Chapter 2774 Saint Sir Eyes the Nine-Headed Lion raised his head and roared. His roar cracked the sky. Compared to Yi Ming, his aura was many times stronger. All of a sudden, the Nine-Headed Lion vanished, reappearing right in front of Mo Nian and the others. He blocked their path back to the barrier. He then unleashed a claw, one that shattered the laws of space. It encompassed Mo Nian, Wild, Zi Yan and Yi's Hikyu at the same time. Seeing this, Wild smashed the western desert axe. Whether or not the nine-headed lion had become a sovereign, the first thing to do was smash his axe. As a result, Wild was sent smashing into the ground like a shooting star by the nine-headed lion's claw. They're not on the same level. Mo Nian was shocked. Despite both being sovereigns, the nine-headed lion was far stronger than Yi Ming. They had all been misled by Yi Ming's power. They thought that all the other world sovereigns would be at this power level. However, this one blow from the nine-headed lion told them that there was an immense difference. Zi Yan's hands quickly played, unleashing waves at the nine-headed lion. However, the nine-headed lion suddenly roared and a ripple spread. Zi Yan's hands were blown off her zither, shocking her. Her devil soul refining song had been interrupted. Do you think that I'm like that idiot who thinks himself smart? Yi Ming took a shortcut to get ahead, sacrificing the corrupt path's people to forcibly raise his cultivation base. It's absolutely laughable that he didn't realize that sacrificing the corrupt god's believers would cause their faith energy to interfere with his power as a sovereign. He is unable to properly condense his sovereign power. Although his aura is strong, it's just a scary appearance. His true combat power is lacking far too much, sneered the nine-headed lion. He once more roared, Long Chen, shouldn't you come out and face your death? You want Long Chen to come out? Are you planning on preparing your lion head for stew? Mocked Mo Nian. However, inside, he was cursing. This sudden turn was terrible for them. As more of the other world's life forms were brought in and slaughtered, blood soul energy filled the entire continent. Mo Nian then noticed that giant spatial gates had appeared in the direction of Devil Spirit Mountain the yin-yang world, the corrupt god cemetery, and ancient battlefield. The gate was slowly opening, and it had yet to fully open. Furthermore, there was a terrifying aura behind it. First think of a way to get rid of one. Mo Nian suddenly sent a message to Zi Yan, Yi's Hikyu, and Wild. Now that they were facing two sovereigns, they had to get rid of one. Their target was Yi Ming. The four of them then attacked him at the same time. They had to first eliminate him in order to have a chance. HMPH, Yi Ming might be a fool, but I won't just watch as you kill him, said the nine-headed lion, unleashing a claw at Mo Nian. The nine-headed lion was the supreme expert of the demonic beast race, and he instantly saw that the real threat to Yi Ming was Mo Nian. However, Mo Nian could also be said to be the weakest in close-range combat, so the nine-headed lion immediately attacked him. Mo Nian let off nine arrows that flew toward the nine-headed lion from different directions. Every arrow was different, with some fast, some slow, some fierce, and some sinister. Are you trying to tickle me? Sneered the nine-headed lion. His nine heads then glowed, summoning a barrier around him. Those nine arrows exploded on contact with him. Mo Nian was truly shaken. The nine-headed lion was on a completely different level compared to Yi Ming. His arrows were capable of threatening Yi Ming but not the nine-headed lion. If the exploding arrows couldn't strike his actual body, 
then they were nothing more than flashy fireworks, with their hasty plan interrupted. Wild immediately came to assist Mo Nyan. If the two of them were to fight one against one, it would be dangerous for Mo Nyan. Yi's Hiki who also came to assist them. So Zi Yan went out to face Yi Ming alone. At this moment, the southern sea zither quivered and divine sword slashed out of it. Yi Ming had been previously seriously injured, and seeing Zi Yan lock him down with her zither blades, he roared furiously. He felt so stifled that he was dying inside. He had sacrificed some power in order to advance to the sovereign realm as quickly as possible. That way, he could take the core before everyone else. However, now, he simply looked like an idiot. He had seriously underestimated the foundation of the Martial Heaven Continent and the Five Sovereigns. The current him was now a giant laughingstock. Even all on her own, Zi Yan was tying down Yi Ming temporarily. Meanwhile, Wild, Mo Nian, and Yi Zhiki were being suppressed by the Nine-Headed Lion. With every exchange, Wild was sent flying. His hands were covered in blood from the impacts. Long Chen, have you become a tortoise hiding in the shell? Fine, then today I'll slaughter all of you, laughed the nine-headed lion, his attacks growing even sharper. Within the barrier, Ling Yunzi leaned forward slightly, only to be held back by the high priest. Our power must be saved. Every bit of time we can stall is to our advantage. It still isn't the moment, Ling Yunzi nodded. Although Mo Nian, Wild, and Yi's Hikia were in a dangerous situation, it still hadn't reached a critical moment. If they were really about to die, the supreme items that they had would prioritize protecting them. However, at that time, the sovereign's barrier being supported by the five supreme divine items power would crumble. Suddenly, people began to stand within the barrier. Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, Yu Zifeng, Guo Ran, Xia Chen, Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Dong Mingyu, Lu Ruian, Yu Ziaokian, Cloud and the others began to awaken. They had reached the Saint Realm. After reaching it, they automatically awakened because their cultivation bases could no longer rise any higher. The Saint Realm was their current limit. As the Martial Heaven Continent's karmic luck had to be focused on Long Chen, they couldn't make any further breakthroughs. To become an expert required talent, effort, as well as the support of the karmic luck of the Heavenly Deos. Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, Zeman Xiangsheng, Hu Fang, Yi Lingxian, and the others also woke up. They had all become saints. Senior, let us fight. Mo Nian and the others can't last much longer, said Guo Ran, his armor appearing on him. Chapter 2775 Wolf God, Awaken. Now isn't the time. Remember, all of us here are ultimately waiting for Long Chen to become a sovereign. Only he can prevent the upcoming calamity. Any advantages or disadvantages that appear here aren't important. What is important is whether or not Long Chen can become a sovereign. If he is interrupted, then all life forms of the Martial Heaven Continent will meet their end, said the High Priest. The five sovereigns were all sitting in the air like statues. Their bodies were starting to grow illusory. Under the attacks of Guic, the Kunpeng Emperor, and the Blood Races Emperor, their remnant sovereign power was slowly ground away. At the start, we used a tactic to bait out reinforcements before crushing them together. The other side is also using this tactic, said Maruayan. Once you go out, no matter how many of them you kill, it will still produce blood soul energy and quicken their end goal. This is also why when the blood soul energy on the continent reached a certain level, it triggered the five sovereigns to form this barrier and temporarily halt the battle. Since the sovereigns stopped more blood soul energy from appearing, they had to kill their own people, but that produced far less energy. They'll then need to kill countless members of their own races. If you go out and are surrounded by them, if any of you die, it will only benefit them. The slaughter on the battlefield only benefited the other side as it produced the strongest blood soul energy. Only now did the Martial Heaven Continent's experts learn of this, but as for why the invaders would do this, Maruayan didn't say. As the fighting outside continued, the continent's experts inside of the barrier continued advancing. The majority of the Dragonblood warriors had advanced to the Saint Realm. Suddenly, the world dimmed and the Silent Heaven devastating bracelet shuddered, causing everyone to jump. 
Boss has advanced to the Emperor realm, exclaimed Guo Ran in delight. Long Chen was sitting within the heaven devastating bracelet. His whole body was surrounded by stars, and the aura of an emperor flowed around him. At this moment, countless cracks appeared throughout the heaven devastating bracelet. The heaven devastating bracelet was like a stalk of sugarcane that was having its energy squeezed out. Its body began to crumble, and all its energy was pouring into Long Chen. That energy is astonishing. The energy that Long Chen is absorbing is enough to blow up a sovereign like Yi Ming, said the high priest with a sigh. With the high priest's experience, he instantly saw that the energy that Long Chen had used to go from the 9th heaven stage to the 12th heaven stage far surpassed Yi Ming's energy as a whole. Furthermore, breaking through to the sovereign realm would require at least 10 times more energy compared to becoming an emperor. Long Chen truly needed an astonishing amount of energy. Suddenly, cracks appeared in the spatial gate above the corrupt god cemetery. Yi Ming then raised his head and laughed. Haha, I was still the one to take the initiative. Since my undying race's experts from the higher planes are descending first, victory will belong to the undying race. The spatial gate shuddered and one figure after another appeared, wearing strange robes that were completely different from the other undying experts. Shockingly, their auras were incredibly powerful. Lying between the saint realm and the emperor realm, they should belong to the half-step emperor category. Not good. Their descent is far too fast. Daoist heavenly feathers expression changed. Yi Ming was truly a schemer. Perhaps he had taken a shortcut to the sovereign realm precisely for this. Hundreds of those experts came out of the spatial gate, and more of them kept coming. Kill them, shouted Yi Ming, raising his spear. Those foreign experts actually listened to him and charged towards Zi Yan. Suddenly, the southern sea zither's light expanded, covering Zi Yan. Its power instantly rose by multiple levels. At the same time, the western desert axe, central plains cauldron, and northern source sword also skyrocketed in power. Although they were still at a disadvantage against the nine-headed lion, they began to stabilize and form a stalemate. No, they fooled me. The nine-headed lion's expression suddenly became gloomy. Abandoning Mo Nian and the others, he charged toward the barrier of the five sovereigns. After attacking all this time, the nine-headed lion suddenly realized that their supreme divine items were the crux of this barrier. For them to be supporting the barrier and fighting against him was a distribution of energy. So having their power split up like this was a kind of taboo. The nine-headed lion then realized that considering the size of the barrier, breaking it should be comparatively easier. It suddenly struck him that Mo Nian and the others had only been baiting him into a fight to avoid him targeting the barrier. Thinking of how he had wasted so much time on them, he was incredibly vexed. Seeing the countless experts making rapid breakthroughs inside of the barrier, he realized just how foolish it was for him to try to use the four of them to force Long Chen out. After that, he immediately abandoned Mo Nian and the others, going straight for the barrier. Yi Ming also reacted leading the undying race's army toward the barrier. Their attacks caused the barrier to shake. With their addition, the barrier was growing dimmer and dimmer. It clearly wouldn't be long before it shattered. Just at this moment, the light of the supreme divine items retracted, going to support the formation once more. All of a sudden, Mo Nian unleashed an arrow as quick as lightning toward the meditating Eldevil Heavenwalker. The devil race's army had been almost wiped out by Maruayan and those in charge of guarding the altar were now slaughtering their own people coming out of Devil Spirit Mountain in order to increase the blood soul energy in the air. Hence, by the time they realized there was an attack, they didn't have time to stop it. However, just as the arrow was about to pierce the Aldevil Heavenwalker, it stopped. The Aldevil Heavenwalker's eyes slowly opened, and a sovereign crown appeared on his head. Foolish human race, you cannot escape your fate of being destroyed. As the Aldevil Heavenwalker slowly stood up Devil Chi filled the sky. The Blood Race's altar also quivered, and Blood Chi swirled around the Blood Fiend Devil Lord. At this moment, Heaven and Earth rumbled, and a Sovereign Crown also appeared on his head. The Blood Fiend Devil Lord has also become a Sovereign Mo Nian's heart became cold. Everything was happening too fast, and they didn't even have a chance to breathe. Ha ha ha, the Martial Heaven Continent's core will belong to the Blood Race. No one can snatch it from us. 
The blood fiend devil lord suddenly spat a mouthful of blood on the giant egg beneath his feet. That was a sovereign's essence blood, containing the might of a sovereign. Mighty wolf god. Awaken. Chapter 2776 Besieged by four sovereigns Noveloon.com Countless runes lit up on the giant egg, and its shell gradually became translucent, allowing people to see a snow-white body curled up inside of it. The body was that of a wolf, and its fur was like white jade. It seemed as if there were tiny runes flowing around every single strand of it. Right now, its eyes were closed in slumber and only a single patch of red fur was present on its forehead. The shell was being nourished by essence blood and starting to crack. As it did, a terrifying aura came out from within, one pulsing with majestic divine energy. In fact, the first pulse directly blasted apart the blood race's experts standing beside it. Quite a few of those experts were saints but were still wiped out. Ha ha ha. So it was still lacking a bit of energy. It seems that I still underestimated the wolf god's power, laughed the blood fiend devil lord excitedly. Even after absorbing so much blood soul energy, the wolf god had yet to awaken. Its power far surpassed the blood fiend devil lord's expectations. The more energy it absorbed, the more it proved its power. The blood race had been consecrating the wolf god race for countless years, so the latter had sent them this wolf god egg from a higher plane. As a matter of fact, this egg had been in the yin-yang world for over a hundred thousand years. Whenever the yin-yang world opened and the martial heaven continents experts entered to adventure, whether they killed the inhabitants of that world or they were killed themselves, it would produce blood soul energy for the wolf god egg. After being nourished for so many years, it was finally awakening for this era, but the result was that it was still missing a bit of energy. At this moment, the power of the wolf god egg delighted the blood fiend devil lord, as he was the one to awaken this wolf god. According to the wolf god race's convention, he would be this wolf god's companion, and his talent and aptitude would be bound to it. He would then have the wolf god's blessing for his future cultivation and progress by leaps and bounds. If it's still missing a bit of blood soul energy, then I'll just need to produce some more. The blood fiend devil lord laughed and suddenly shot toward the barrier. The supreme divine items in Mo Nian, Wild, Yi's Hikyu, and Zi Yan's hands quivered, causing the four of them to vanish. All of them then reappeared within the barrier. At this moment, their divine items disappeared from their hands as well, merging with their images in the sky to reinforce the barrier. It then instantly strengthened by several levels. This tortoise shell of yours won't last much longer. Prey that is fated to be slaughtered cannot escape the Aldevil Heaven Walker also flew over attacking the barrier. As a result, ripples spread across the barrier with each of his attacks. On the other side, the blood fiend devil lord was also attacking the barrier with his blood soul tower. Every strike caused the land to tremble, shaking people's hearts. Yi Ming, the nine-headed lion, the blood fiend devil lord, and the Aldevil heaven walker were crazily assaulting the barrier, causing it to gradually weaken. Hence, the people inside were all terrified. Husband, Mrs. Long was awake now and trembled in fear, being nothing more than an ordinary person. She was naturally terrified upon seeing such a scene. Don't worry, I'm here, I will protect you, whispered Long Shyang Xiao comfortingly. There's no need to worry, Big Brother will definitely protect us. Grandpa High Priest already told me that Big Brother is this world's strongest person, declared Long Xiaoyu confidently. However, not everyone was as brave as Long Xiaoyu. Some children were hiding and crying in the embraces of the adults, and even those adults were terrified. They were watching fiends from their nightmares attack them. They wanted to wake up, but this wasn't a dream. It was the reality. They were all simply ordinary people, so they could only entrust their lives to the experts. As for the weaker cultivators, they were filled with guilt over not being qualified to participate in this battle. Some of them were youngsters who were only at the Life Star Realm or the Soul Transformation Realm, but they stood together with the older experts. It was simply a case of being born in the right great era, but not having the power to grab the chance to change their lives. They hadn't managed to ascend into powerful experts. Hence, they could only stare as the Dragonblood Warriors woke up one after another and gathered at the very front fearlessly. They were like an iron wall protecting them. 
the other person that they looked at was the one with the surging emperor aura. At this moment, Long Chen was surrounded by flowing stars. However, people didn't quite dare to look directly at him. I really was blind back then to believe those rumors. Some people slapped themselves a few times until their faces were bloody, startling the people around them. Long Chen had reached his current level while being cursed and questioned by them. No expert's path was more difficult than his. It was today that they truly believed Long Chen was the true protector of the Martial Heaven continent. Back then, they had continuously thought of every possible way to hinder him, slowing down his growth. They had once believed in the Divine Families and Pill Valley, but those powers then revealed their true faces. The Divine Families were even a leading enemy force behind this dark era. As for Pill Valley, the fighting had been going on for so long, but they had yet to appear. Without them, the main force on the front lines of the Martial Heaven Continent side was the Dragonblood Legion. Moreover, with this battle at hand, the truth about every person's character was revealed. Certain people were filled with regret, but that no longer had any meaning. If only they had known sooner, such a thing meant nothing in this world. The four enemy sovereigns were attacking the barrier while assisted by their giant armies. Also, they continued to slaughter their own people at the same time. Since they had advanced to the sovereign realm, all the blood soul energy was flowing toward the giant egg as well as the four spatial gates. Suddenly, three explosive sounds rang out, and the remaining spatial gates opened. Strange life forms came walking out with terrifying auras. Just like the undying race's gate, those experts were at the half-step emperor level. They came out like locusts, assaulting the sovereign's barrier. Prepare for battle Guo Ran shouted, clenching his dual blades. Right now, the Dragonblood Warriors had all awakened and advanced to the Saint Realm. As the Dragonblood Warriors unsheathed their weapons, Blood Chi soared into the heavens along with countless dragon roars, shaking the sky. Chapter 2777 The Dragonblood Legion comes out to fight Bang. The barrier suddenly shattered, causing everyone's hearts to clench. The destruction of the barrier signified the start of a bloody slaughter. However, what people hadn't expected was that after the barrier was broken, its power condensed, splitting into two smaller barriers. One protected Long Chen, while the other protected everyone. The five supreme divine items appeared above Long Chen's head, forming a new smaller barrier. As for the other barrier, it came from the ground. This was the power of the Martial Heaven Continent's core. Originally, the giant barrier had been set up by the power of both the five supreme divine items and the martial heaven continent's core to prevent the heaven devastating bracelet's power from flowing away, locking that power inside for the cultivators to absorb. However, now that the barrier could no longer be maintained, they split up, with the five supreme divine items protecting Long Chen and the martial heaven continent protecting its people. The nine-headed lion and the others had been delighted to see the barrier break, but when they saw it shrink down into smaller barriers, they knew that its defensive powers had to have shot up, so they cursed furiously. Ignore the trash. Kill Long Chen, shouted Yi Ming. Fuck, who do you think you are to give me orders? Scram, cursed the nine-headed lion. The original plan had been for them to attack together after becoming sovereigns. That was the most dependable method but Yi Ming had been in a rush to take everything for himself, resulting in this current mess. Now he even wished to give them directions? The nine-headed lion had an urge to kill him. Do I need you to give me directions? Are you an idiot? Sneered the blood fiend devil lord. Once this is over, we'll settle things between us, said the Aldevil Heavenwalker darkly. He was the most infuriated out of everyone. The devil race's army had been exterminated. This was an insult to the devil race, and it was all Yi Ming's fault. Without needing to hear Yi Ming's reminder, they all charged toward Long Chen. That was because they had a bad feeling. Even through the barrier, they could sense Long Chen's terrifying aura, and it made their hearts quiver. Noveloon.com Moreover, the four of them already had a sense of fear beaten into them by Long Chen. If he became a sovereign as well, they might not be able to defeat him. At this moment, their armies were assaulting the barrier, with more of them appearing from the spatial gates. Their numbers seemed endless. Senior, are we just going to watch like this? Cried out Guo Ran. The high priest nodded. 
We can only wait. All the moves on this life and death board have been played. And what remains is the decisive clash. Life and death will be decided here. The more pressing things are, the more we must stay calm. We must listen to the sovereign's directives. The five sovereigns had made their moves on this board stemming back over a hundred thousand years, and their efforts had resulted in this current board. Since they were now on the eve of a critical juncture, everyone was tense. Mo Nyan and the others clenched their weapons. To say that they weren't nervous would be a lie. There couldn't be the smallest slip, as behind them were their families. Every single warrior here had a family. Although they had set foot on the path of cultivation and almost lost contact with them, their families were still in their hearts. These ties were what allowed them to stand at the front of the battlefield bravely. They no longer had any path of retreat. Boom. Another incense sticks worth of time later. The barrier protecting everyone rumbled. At this moment, the five sovereigns figures became much fainter. Under the assault of countless experts, their blood soul energy had been exhausted. Attack. The high priest suddenly charged out, leading the way out of the barrier. The five sovereigns barrier had finally reached the point where they had no other choice but to attack. Kill. Guo ran howled and charged out with the dragon blood legion. The heaven splitting divine sect and the Zhuanshan Dao sect's experts followed them. At this moment, all the top experts charged out. There were the Nangong, Bidang, and Zeman families, the Mo family, the Wine God Palace the Heavenly Sword Gate, the Huaian Sect, and more. They were like a giant dragon charging out of the barrier. Jinying, you should stay here. I will kill enough for you, said the old man, his white hair blowing in a wild gust. However, despite his wild appearance, he still didn't want Ku Jinying to be in danger. Danger surrounded every single one of them now. However, Ku Jinying had a rare smile on her face. She held the old man's face. I'm not afraid. I have the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet, so I'll be fine. As the previous leader of the Martial Heaven Alliance, how can I hide? Old man, I promise that I will fully leave these matters behind after this battle. I'll marry you and be your wife. I'll accompany you for a long time, and I won't intentionally anger you again. So remember, you have to come back alive. This is our promise. Kujin Ying stuck out her pinky clasping it with the old man's thick pinky. Remember, this is our promise. You can't break it. Ha ha ha. All right. I have never failed to live up to my word in this lifetime. Today, I'll show these little brats what is called a good blade that doesn't grow old. The old man laughed heroically, catching up to his disciples in an instant. He then pushed aside the threatening Bao Buping. Everyone, follow me or you won't get any chance once I slaughter them all. Kill. As their shouts rang out, a towering willow tree appeared, covering the sky, letting a lot of willow branches fall. Luruian was the one to pull open the curtain to this battle. Endless wind moons, Bloodberry's life. Tang Wanner was surrounded by wind blades. After becoming a saint, the power of her divine bone had fully awakened. Wherever her wind blades went, her enemies exploded, their blood filling the air. On the other side, the world was rocked as two giant figures crashed into each other. Cloud had transformed into the true form of a cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow, and she crashed into the Kunpeng Emperor. Both of them were divine birds, and their first clash caused a rain of feathers to fall. The Kunpeng Emperor then unleashed a claw on Cloud's wing and blood splashed. As for Cloud, she spat out a black light that pierced the Kunpeng Emperor's chest. The Kunpeng and the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow were both top existences amongst divine birds. They began a ferocious fight, filling the air with divine light. Kill. The Martial Heaven Continent's experts pierced through the armies of the other worlds. But in terms of numbers, there was no way to compare them. The invaders had thousands of times more experts than them. However, the Dragonblood Legion was the sharpest blade for the Martial Heaven Continent. They charged straight through the invaders, quickly reaching the barrier protecting Long Chen. Yi Ming, come out and fight. Guo Ran charged out like a shooting star straight toward Yi Ming and then sliced his blades against each other. The runes on his wings blazed with light. Chapter 2778 The Dragon Blood Legion Slaughters Scram. Yi Ming shouted furiously. Everyone was treating him like some soft persimmon. Now, 
Even some brat whose name he didn't care about dared to call him out for a fight. That was a huge insult. Yi Ming then smashed his spear toward Guo Ran, who suddenly crossed his blades. Just at that moment, all the dragon blood manifestations behind the dragon blood warriors lit up, and all their power poured toward Guo Ran. After that, Guo Ran's armor lit up brighter than the sun. All its runes were activated. This was his first time unleashing an attack of this magnitude. Dragon blood cross slash. A metallic voice rang out, and a giant cross shot out of Guo Ran's blades, with the center locked onto Yi Ming. As a result, Yi Ming's face instantly turned green. In his fury, he had forgotten about this terrifying move from the Dragon Blood Legion. They were capable of gathering the power of everyone in the Dragon Blood Legion for an absolutely terrifying blow. However, even if he recalled it now, it was already too late. He was already locked onto. Boom. The giant cross thundered through the air, its power leaving a chaotic flow of space in its wake. Yi Ming was then sent flying, his arms destroyed and his body covered in cracks. He was almost killed. Guo Ran shot after him like a bolt of lightning, wanting to take his life. However, Guic appeared in his way, blocking his attack. Scram, you meddlesome old ghost. Guo Ran shouted angrily. After that, four small holes appeared on his wrist, shooting out sharp balls. At this close distance, even Guic couldn't dodge in time. He only managed to avoid two of the awls and was struck in the leg and shoulder by the other two. Those steel awls exploded once they pierced him, blasting apart Guic's leg and arm. The next moment, a sword slashed down from the heavens, and its sharp sword chi cut through Guic right down the middle. Gu Yang's spear then swept out, blasting apart his separated physical bodies. In the end, Guic's Yuan spirit flew out, hastily fleeing. Back in his fight against Sovereign Zi Yang, he had his physical body destroyed just like this. Nevertheless, he was still a threat because his Yuan spirit was stronger than his physical body. But just at this moment, a ray of light enveloped his Yuan spirit. The light was coming from a mirror. It was beautiful, yet it made people's souls quiver. The void mirror was an extremely mysterious existence, and Men Chi had gone through countless tests to reach her current mastery over the void mirror's power. Guic was instantly trapped within the light. He struggled to break free, but he began to be pulled into the void mirror. Hence, he was horrified. This light was not a power that belonged to this world. Guic then hastily raised his staff, and the eyes of the three skulls lit up. But at the next moment, the three skulls shattered. It was unknown what power destroyed the staff, but whatever it was, it destroyed Guic's Yuan spirit as well. This expert that had lived to tell the tale after fighting Sovereign Zi Yang was now killed by Men Chi. Men Chi stood in the air like a heavenly fairy, appearing to have transcended the coils of the mortal world. In her left hand was the void mirror, and her right hand was forming seals. The power of Guic's Yuan spirit and staff were sucked into the void mirror. Heavenly soul slave seals. Men Chi let out a cry. After that, her manifestation shuddered and spiritual strength exploded like a volcano, pouring into the void mirror. Guic's power merged with Menki's spiritual strength, transforming into a rain of light. Every drop was actually a rune that flew toward the demonic beast race. The demonic beast race's experts were startled by this rain of light. They made moves to block it, but these runes were not actually physical entities and could not be blocked. Moreover, they didn't sense anything strange when the light fell on their bodies. They then stared at Men Chi in confusion. However, they quickly felt that something was off. Marks began to appear on their foreheads, and they contained strange spiritual fluctuations. It slave seals. The demonic beast race's experts shouted in panic when they knew what the light was. However, even as they shouted, those marks appeared in their eyes. They then pounced on the blood race's experts. Bastards. Have you gone crazy? The blood race's experts shouted. Countless demonic beasts were crashing down upon them like the tide, throwing the entire battlefield into chaos. Kill that girl. Men Chi was in control of the void mirror and was using it to control tens of thousands of the demonic beasts that were simply wreaking havoc. Furthermore, the reign of light continued, and more and more demonic beasts were falling under Men Chi's control. 
Even those that had descended from a higher plane were unable to block Menchi's soul art. Menchi wasn't a sovereign or even an emperor, so she had no transcendent power. However, the void mirror in her hands was a special existence. Through it, her spiritual strength transformed, becoming a kind of power that not even the experts of the higher plane could resist. This moment displayed the terror of a beast tamer. Menchi had never had strong divine beasts to control, so many of her techniques were limited to only the power of a soul cultivator, burying her true potential. However, on this battlefield, there were countless demonic beasts, and her beast tamer arts could reveal themselves. On her own, she gradually came to control millions of demonic beasts. You're the one who will die. Guo Ran had no choice but to give up on Yimeying and stop the nine-headed lion from interfering. With his armor and the support of the Dragonblood Warriors, he was the only one capable of facing a sovereign. The nine-headed lion's claw then landed on Guo Ran's blade. Sparks flew, and they were both blown back. After that, the nine-headed lion shook out his tingling hand, while Guo Ran almost coughed up blood. The nine-headed lion was truly on a completely different level from Yi Ming. Just at this moment, the void shuddered. Guo Ran then looked over to where Long Chen was and his expression instantly changed. Chapter 2779 The five sovereigns pass away at this moment. The barrier protecting Long Chen was covered in cracks, and the figures of the five sovereigns were incredibly faint. How regretful. We are fated not to bear witness to the final result. Are we going to fade away just like this? Sovereign Zi Yang sighed. His body began to dissipate from his legs, transforming into tiny runes that flew apart. Sovereign Moli smiled faintly. Although we can't see the result, I trust that it won't let us down. Sovereign Ching Shu only stared outside and sighed. It was unknown if he was sighing because he was already dead and couldn't participate in this battle or something else. Sovereign Han Wei looked at Long Chen with a hint of longing in her eyes. Her body also began to dissipate. While I was alive, my man wasn't. While my man is alive, I am already dead. I leave my feelings in these heavens, never to be forgotten. Sovereign Han Wei looked at Long Chen sadly. However, she was just a remnant discarnate soul, powerless to change anything. She had swept through two eras, slaughtering all her enemies, but not one person was able to enter her eyes noveloon.com However, now that she was just a discarnate soul, she encountered Long Chen, the first man to enter her eyes. Love was truly an emotion that played with people. Sovereign Han Wei then looked from Long Chen to Zi Yan and finally smiled contentedly. Goodbye forever, the one I waited two lifetimes for. After that, Sovereign Han Wei faded away, along with Sovereign Ching Shu, Mo Li, and Zi Yang. Only Sovereign Yun Shang remained. However, his figure was also extremely faint. It clearly wouldn't last much longer. Boom. Finally, the barrier exploded and countless enemies charged toward Long Chen. The Martial Heaven Continent's experts were drowned out by their numbers, unable to stop them. Just at this moment, the image of the Eastern Wasteland Bell in the sky vanished. Its body appeared above Long Chen's head. After that, divine light fell from it, protecting Long Chen. On top of the bell was Yun Tian, and his body was wrapped in chains. His appearance was strange, completely different from normal. Sovereign Yun Shang looked at Yun Tian guiltily. He wanted to say something, but even though his lips moved, no words came out. You don't need to say anything. As your descendant, this is my sacred duty. I am proud of it, said Yun Tian. Thank you. In the end, Sovereign Yun Shang was only able to spit out two simple words. Dad, if there is a reincarnation, I wish to be your son again in the next life. Sovereign Yun Shang trembled to hear Yun Tian call him dad. He smiled, but as his body faded, that smile also vanished from this world. The five sovereigns had given up everything for the martial heaven continent. Even in death, their soul essence remained to give a final burst of power to protect the continent. They were truly the continent's protective gods, this world's greatest contributors. Die, with the five sovereigns gone and only the eastern wasteland bell protecting Long Chen. Enemies crashed down upon Long Chen. However, when their attack struck the Eastern Wasteland Bell's barrier, a strange power repelled them. Blood Sacrifice Guard, the High Priest and the others were shocked to see this. 
Yan Tian had actually used a sacrificial art to create a wall to protect Long Chen. Now they understood why Sovereign Yan Chang had apologized to Yan Tian. Yan Tian had received the mission to protect Long Chen and was using his own life to carry out this mission. Once this technique was activated, it could not be stopped. In other words, Yan Tian had sacrificed his life. Whether or not the barrier was broken, his life would be forfeit. Of the five sovereigns, only Yan Chang had managed to have a son. With his heavenly fate eyes, he was able to see a glimpse of the future. In other words, he had given birth to a son just for today. Not only had he sacrificed everything about himself for the martial heaven continent, but even his son took over this mission, using his life to protect this world. His fate was set. At this moment, the martial heaven continent's experts couldn't help being moved to tears. Even the high priest's eyes were wet. Yan Tian was born to be Long Chen's companion, sighed Maru Ayan. Yan Tian must have known of his fate long ago. As for Yun Shang, he was filled with guilt toward this son of his. Everything was for the martial heaven continent. Even as countless experts assaulted the barrier, Yun Tian simply stood on top of the eastern wasteland bell. The chains condensed from his soul and blood fluttered. But no matter how they attacked the barrier, it majestically stood strong. Kill. Mo Nian charged forward ferociously. In this lifetime, perhaps the only one he was willing to call boss was Yun Tian. The current Yan Tian was like a candle burning himself to win time for Long Chen. The five sovereigns had vanished and the barrier had crumbled. This allowed the supreme divine items to return to their masters. With his double saint barrier and the central plane's cauldron above his head, Mo Nian unleashed destructive arrows containing the power of the central plane's cauldron. His arrows forcibly slaughtered a path through the armies of invaders. Charge. When that path appeared. Guo Ran led the Dragon Blood Legion through it. Long Chen was the crux of this battle, and everyone was fighting for more time for him. Where do you think you're going? The Nine Headed Lion roared and chased after Mo Nian, only to have Icy Sword Chi block his path. Yi's Hikyu's sword froze space, and half of the Nine Headed Lion's body lost any sensation when he was struck. Startled, he retreated. The Supreme Divine Items were now focusing their power on combat and the nine-headed lion finally sensed their terror. That ice chi had invaded his soul, almost freezing it. Boom. Just at this moment, the spatial gates above the yin-yang world, ancient battlefield, corrupt god cemetery, and devil spirit mountain rumbled. The gates opened a bit wider. Following that, terrifying auras came out. More and more experts walked out of the gates. Emperor's startled cries rang out. Originally. The experts coming out were saints with half a step into the emperor realm. However, when the gates opened a bit wider, experts that had reached the emperor level came out as well. Upon seeing this, everyone's hearts turned cold. Defend the barrier shouted the high priest. Mo Nian, Wild, Zi Yan, and Yi's Hikyu abandoned their opponents, charging over to the side of the eastern wasteland bell. The martial heaven continent's experts focused all their power there. However, there were too many enemies. Casualties quickly began to stack up on the Martial Heaven continent side. If we only defend, we'll be at too much of a disadvantage, shouted Song Mingyuan. This couldn't continue much longer. Everyone knew that this couldn't be maintained for much longer. However, if they allowed others to attack the barrier, then Yan Tian also wouldn't be able to last for long. Right now, the faintest chi of a sovereign had been condensed by Long Chen. So every bit of time that they could stall was a bit more hope. However, the four spatial gates continued to slowly open. More and more foreign experts flooded onto the continent. The very sky was cracking as if the world was about to burst. Boom. Suddenly, out of nowhere, spatial gates began to appear above their heads. In total, three additional gates opened. It's doomed. People's hearts sank. This really left them with no hope. The Xiao tribe's Xiao Fei is here. Experts of the immemorial path are here to reinforce Big Brother Long Chen. A mighty voice rang out. Chapter 2780 Reinforcements hearing that they came from the immemorial path. The Dragonblood Warriors cheered. They hadn't expected the indigenous people of the immemorial path to come reinforce them. When they had met, Xiao Fei had been a rather cowardly teen. But he had grown up now, becoming a true man. However, 
What was truly shocking was their auras. Back then, Xiao Fei could only reach the level of a rank 3 celestial thanks to Long Chen's help. However, his aura was now vast and majestic. He was actually an emperor, and this was not something he had recently achieved. He had to have stabilized his realm in the emperor realm a while ago because his aura was as heavy as a star. Furthermore, thousands of experts behind Xiao Fei were also emperors, and there were millions of saints. Such a powerful lineup was enough to shake the experts of the other worlds. At this moment, Xiao Fei waved his hand, and a giant skull appeared, smashing into the armies of the other side. That skull possessed a terrifying aura. It was the same skull that Long Chen had seen at the bottom of the immemorial path with the eastern wasteland. Now it had been taken out by Xiao Fei. I will return this to you, shouted Xiao Fei. Boom. The giant skull exploded, unleashing a wave of terrifying power that devoured everything within a giant radius. All the experts caught within it were turned to nothingness. Xiao Fei's arrival stunned everyone. The Martial Heaven Continent's experts were ecstatic to receive reinforcements, especially from people they had considered enemies. The immemorial path had gone through a complete transformation after Long Chen left. It was originally a training ground that almighty experts in the past had linked to the wall of the immortal world, allowing a trace of the immortal world's energy to leak inside of it. This resulted in its special world laws that made it the best place for experts to grow. However, after the war, it was turned into a land of ruin, let alone the aura of the immortal world. Even the aura of the martial heaven continent was almost unable to reach it. Hence, their resources became sparse. During Long Chen's tribulation, he had ripped open the wall of the heavens, completely transforming the immemorial path. By tearing open that wall, Long Chen had inadvertently bumped into the wall of the immortal world, causing its energy to enter the immemorial path once more. As a result, experts began to arise within the immemorial path like bamboo after a spring rainfall. Their growth was even faster than the martial heaven continent's experts. Xiao Fei was the first to become an emperor. He then managed to link together the four fragments of the immemorial path and became the leader of the entire world. They eventually charged underground, where after a brutal, bloody battle, they shattered the barrier there and took the skull that was like a malignant tumor in their world. After resolving this problem, Xiao Fei began to think of ways to link up with the Martial Heaven Continent. According to Lord Heavenly, a tribulation was about to befall the Martial Heaven Continent. In order to repay Long Chen for his favor, Xiao Fei had spent a great deal of effort trying to form a channel, but he was unable to pierce the spatial wall. At that time, Lord Heavenly activated his eyes and ultimately told Xiao Fei that he needed to wait for the right time. After saying that, he reached the end of his lifespan and passed away. Xiao Fei had been waiting for half a year. Finally, the spatial wall weakened, and that was due to the four other worlds forming their own channels. The spatial wall then weakened more and more until it reached a critical point, and their channel instantly pierced through. After that, Xiao Fei charged through with the experts of the immemorial path. Big Brother Long Chen, today, I, Xiao Fei, will protect you. Xiao Fei and his millions of experts charged onto the battlefield. With their addition, the pressure on the Martial Heaven Continent side was greatly reduced. At this moment, the other two spatial gates also opened. Actually, two giant trees propped them open, and spiritual chi gushed into the continent. It's the spirit world's life god tree and the star field divine world's ling she exclaimed Chu Yao Navalun.com when the spirit world's warriors charged into the continent through the gate. Their arrows also rained down on the battlefield. Also, from Ling Shi's side, countless spirit race warriors flew out, attacking the other direction. Both sides looked to be from the same race, but they were actually from different branches. The spirit world's warriors were all women, while the spirit race on Ling Shi's side had men as well as women. Back then, the spirit world's life god tree had received the nourishment of Long Chen's primal chaos soil, which caused it to thrum with life. Its warriors then grew stronger day by day along with it. Luckily, both the spirit world and the star field divine world remembered the aid that Long Chen had provided them. Hence, when the world's spatial walls weakened, they opened a gate and came to help him. Arrows rained down. Although the wounds caused by these arrows were not lethal, 
the arrows would embed themselves in flesh and sprout, sucking away the target's life force. After that, those struck quickly became masses of wood, unable to fight. All of the immemorial path, the spirit world, and the starfield divine world's experts had come to reinforce Long Chen and the others, and this fact reinvigorated the martial heaven continent's experts. At the same time, they felt even greater admiration for Long Chen. These people had only come because of him. The mother tree and the life god tree were in their true forms. At this moment, two giant trees covered practically the entire martial heaven continent with their crowns. An emerald mark then appeared on each of the martial heaven continent's experts' foreheads and instantly healed their wounds whenever they were injured. As long as they weren't killed in one blow, they could be said to possess undying bodies. Since the Dragonblood Warriors already had the protection of the Healing Warriors, with the addition of this blessing, they became even more unrestrained. Azure Dragon Slaughter Formation shouted Shia Chen. Right away, the Dragonblood Warriors moved into the shape of a long dragon, with Guo Ran, Shia Chen, and the four captains as the head of the dragon. This grand formation then charged through the battlefield. The Dragonblood Legion was like a sharp blade weaving through the battlefield. At this moment, the very world was already dyed red from the killing, and the martial heaven sea ring had become a sea of blood. This was a battle to seize these heavens. Vile beings, the nine-headed lion cursed furiously. He was blocked by wild, Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, and the others, while also had to be on guard against the spirit race's arrows. He was gradually forced away from Yun Shian's barrier. We can't stall any longer. Have the gods descend shouted the nine-headed lion. He quickly retreated. At the same time, Yi Ying, the Aldevil Heavenwalker, and the Blood Fiend Devil Lord pulled back. They retreated all the way to their respective spatial gates before they formed hand seals. With my blood as the guide, my soul as the bridge, I ask the heavenly god to possess my body. The four of them shouted in unison, and blood soul energy burst forth. After that, the spatial gates shuddered and translucent figures walked out of the spatial gates.